What up? What up? What's going on, man? Guys, it's bad. Guys, I got some bad news. The beans ain't here yet. It is day two of being without my normal coffee routine. How many times do I have to be punished before God gives me a win? Just convert to soda, boss. Fuck that. That sounds awful. Dude, I will never do that. But that's my life. I said what I said, okay? I said what I said. Is he insulting my way of life already? If your way of life... All right. If that's specifically the way you've decided to identify as your life, then I said what I said. Okay? That's all. Swap to gamer subs and boil your insides. I got a better idea. Mods! Ban that fucking word! When they pay me $10,000, I'll unban it. Fucking brand shit. Trash. Quiet brand reference. Silence. Ban all brands until they pay you. I fucking should, dude. I, that, listen. They've not earned a presence here. <laughs> They've not earned it. Ah. Listen, when they contact me with the bag in hand, maybe my, I mean, they actually, hang on. They have in fact, in the past contacted me with the bag and I have opted to ignore their emails. But I swear to God, if they did it again, I may do it a second time. However, that does not change the fact that I do not need to tolerate the presence of internet brands in my chat. I'm protecting you from big consumerism chat. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm actually a hero. But I'm a big consumer. Consume elsewhere. Just got my shit pushed in on Overwatch for the 50th competitive game in a row. Well, first time chatter, did you just come in here to look for any comfort in these trying times? Because you came into the wrong fucking chat, doofus. What the hell? Welcome. Come on in. Um... The only way to stop getting hurt is to stop playing. Better your life. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we'll all be here to support you when that happens. Uninstall. <laughs> PVE Gamer. Dude, no, 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 no. No, I played, and I play, I play, I've dabbled in some PvP back in the day. All right. I, I, Toxic Tuesday. Today's not Tuesday. And also simultaneously, yesterday was Toxic Tuesday. Today's Wednesday again. 
need to be really clear. Where am I, huh? Did you actually have like a fucking like stroke? <laughs> what day is today? Where am I? What happened? Huh? What? Huh? President's Day, man. Holy shit. Yeah, guys. Today's gonna be a weird day. Not because of anything on stream. I gotta go to sleep early, guys. Because in the morning, I had to go back to the doctor. In the morning, I have to go back to the doctor at freaking 9 a.m. Oh my fucking god. Which doctor? Well, uh, the gastroenterologist, chat. I, I can now say with absolute rock solid certainty that I got the Crohn's, guys. I got the Crohn's, which means I'm going in to like talk to them about it, despite the fact that I've been operating on the assumption that I had it for the last year and a half. So they're acting like it's a big deal, but I'm sitting here like, my guys, you were giving me medication that you wanted me to take for Crohn's this whole time. So what the hell? Why is this an emergency meeting? Like they're trying, we have to have like, we got to come to battle stations and I'm sitting here like feeling pretty okay again right now. And they're like, Oh, we need to see you Thursday so we can talk about your diagnosis. I'm like, ah. I'm glad you have a diagnosis, though. Yeah, that's the silver lining is that in a way it's better than having um, a bunch of doctors shrug at you and say, it looks so bad, but we don't know how to explain what's happening. So that's cool, I guess. That's, that part's epic. Please recap game, Tomato. I don't remember. Shut the hell up and go to the VOD for Pacific Drive and set it to five times speed, loser. Sorry, that was mean. I'm gonna retract the loser part and I'm gonna instead exchange it with silly guy. All right. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. That wasn't very posy vibes only of you, Tomato. No, no, chat. That's in regards to the chat energy. You guys have to bring posy vibes. You guys need to bring posy vibes. I always bring posy vibes. That's a fucking lie. Dude, I don't even, it doesn't even matter who said that message. If anyone posted that, they're fucking lying. Easy as they breathe. How's the apology video coming along, Tomato? Katie, how's the apology twit longer uh, made in chat GPT coming along? Are we covering the allegations yet? Are we covering any of the allegations? Where's the Bible verse? But I don't owe anyone a daily Bible verse. I, I don't understand where that logic came from. You kind of do. You owe it to God. I owe it to God? A daily verse from the Bible? Elden Ring DLC thoughts. Yeah, I got my thoughts right here. Hang on. Hang on. Let me get you my thoughts, dude. Hell yes. 
Hey, check the chat, champ. Check the chat. There's two kinds of people, or three kinds of people. There's the people that when Elden Ring or like anything from FromSoft comes out, they froth at the mouth and they'll watch the entire trailer 15 times and then in slow motion pausing every time. Then there's the people that don't care about it at all and just uh, won't even play Elden Ring. And then there's the people like me who will play the DLC but aren't going to click on anything about the DLC so as to not spoil myself on the DLC. So I have no thoughts because I haven't seen it because I never will until it is out. There's fire. <laughs> Calling out Benji. We all have our ways, guys. We all have our ways. We all have our ways. They put all the hat skeletons in the DLC quiet. Quiet and silence from you. From here on out. Pacific Drive again? This is the full release of the game, stupid. <laughs> again? What is he rerunning the demo again? Yeah, I'm picking up exactly where I left off, though. Um, for anyone that's... Uh, what's up, Lena? Uh, for anyone that's wondering... Uh, yeah, um, I'm not going to redo the first part of the game. We're picking up exactly where I left off. Uh, I re-progressed through the part that I um, did in the demo. So I'm ready to just resume playing from that point in the game. I'm probably missing a tiny... I got like a couple of the upgrades I was missing because I literally beelined it. Um, I recollected some of the um, stuff I needed from the last run. And now we're ready to just continue playing. I also was given like a, uh, a good amount of keys for the game from the devs. So we're going to give some away today. Uh, KD will be doing that every 15 or so minutes during the gameplay. Sure hope you all had time to read that paragraph that Katie posted uh, before it scrolled away instantaneously because that's the only time I'm letting her post it. <laughs> no, that part's a lie. She's allowed to post it more. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I'm excited though, dude. I really liked the demo. Now I get to play the rest of the game. Uh, it's been a, it's been a, been one of my, one of the games I've been looking forward to the most, I think, of the year. So very excited, very excited. I'm expected to type shit. Look, dude, I don't make the rules. Literally, I didn't make the rules. Katie did. Uh, but, uh, yes. Sorry. Uh, doofus. Sorry. I keep throwing around these words today. It's because I haven't had any coffee. Well, I mean, I had a cold brew when I woke up, but I haven't had any now. And that keeps me really, like, mellowed out. I'm getting that no coffee rage. Because I have to drink, like, other caffeine sources, and it's just miserable. It sucks. Lurkers are seething. Hey, hey champ, it's okay. 
Hey, 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 little lurker. It's okay. This is the trade-off you get for not freaking talking, is you also don't get observed when cool things happen. Sorry. It's part of your way of life. Sorry. Just Omega Lull every now and then. I promise, if you do that, no one is gonna reply to your message and say, what the fuck was that? To like scare you, I don't think. Or maybe they will now that I said that. I probably just invoked the worst thing that could happen to you as likely to happen today. Remember guys, engage with all single and like two or three emote messages with just general questions so as to scare people. What? Huh? What, huh? Chat, please, I'm begging you to to use your brains and stop DMing me. Wait, are people actually trying to DM Katie for keys? Oh, I cringed. Holy shit. Dude. Real five IQ chatters. <laughs> Please, please, bro. Dude. Shit, be that desperate for keys jingling. It's just like, I don't know. I've, I've never heard of a giveaway where all you have to do to have the give, to, 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 to get the key in the giveaway is just message the person with the key and say, give it to me now. <laughs> Simply demand it from them. Give it to me, no questions asked. Hand it over. I've laid my claim to this key. Matter of fact, to all of them. Give them all to me. Now. You see, the important terminology is that you don't even want to say, can I have a key? You want to say, can you send me my key? Which implies that you are already owed it and perhaps you already won. Hand over my key. Give me the keys. My keys. I got one that just said, give key. Whoever that was, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Give key. Please give key. Mod, please. Why won't Kenny give key to me? Why? Why? Why, bro? Key is for Steam, I'm assuming? Yes. Yes. But yeah, that won't be until I get in game. So, uh, it's also simultaneously not for a little bit. So, um, leave Katie alone. <laughs> leave Katie alone because remember, if you hassle Katie enough, she'll just time you out and then you won't be able to type in chat to be eligible to even possibly win a key. Uh, that's, uh, that's an important detail. 
You actually, you actually have to behave long enough to be able to type in the chat to be eligible to begin with. Can we troll Katie in general still like normal? Everything that you normally do every day is still completely allowed in the same way it always has been. Nothing has changed. Whatsoever. Yeah. Ugh, we have to be nice to her? Uh, well, yes, you do. Unfortunately, yes, you do. If you want to keep. Remember, chat, it's actually, yeah, it's against the rules not to add parentheses respectfully at the end of uh, any kind of uh, frick emote. You have to add parentheses respectfully. Or you're actually going to get in huge trouble. Dude, I tried out a uh, new fucking roguelike that came out the other day called Bellatro. Now that's a fucking fun little roguelike. I don't know if I'd ever stream it, because, I mean, it is cards, but uh, it is fun. I, 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 I ha mightily recommend it. It's a, like a poker roguelike. It's good. It's good. It's been a while since a good roguelike's come around. At some point in the next couple days, I want to get around to trying out that last Epoch game. No, again, not on stream, but like it came out to 1.0, and uh, I will try almost any ARPG at least once. I will, I will try any of them at least once. Server's dead? Doesn't that game have an offline only mode? Wait, I'm confused. Doesn't that game just have an offline mode? Yes, it does. Then who cares? <laughs> Wait. Who fucking cares then? You've been conditioned to believe that you need to be online by assholes like Blizzard. Wait a minute. I have to be on the leaderboard. No, you don't. You've been conditioned to believe that your value is directly in correlation with your number on the leaderboard when it's in fact actually the fun you obtain while playing. But my but fun doesn't make a number go up. How much is fun worth? Huh? Huh. Huh. But I can't pay for loot boxes in offline. That is true. You can't actively gamble with loot boxes in online. Dude, the most appealing thing to me in an ARPG is that it's offline only so I can just, like, know that everything I did with my character, I did with my own RNG and miserable, terrible fucking luck. All right, that's important to me. Because otherwise I cave and I buy, like, a super item with, like, money or, like, the fucking in-game currency of the game. And then I fucking stand there and I say, I actually don't know why I did this because I just beat the whole game. That's why I stopped playing Path with, like, the markets. Because I'd always end up getting a god tier fucking currency within like a, like 12 hours of playing. I would immediately flip it into an insane fucking item. And then I'd sit there and go, well, I don't know what I do now because I just bought the insane item that was the whole point of my build. So now I don't have anything to build up to. I owned myself.
Where do I put my credit card info to buy this fun you speak of? I'm glad you asked. Navigate to the subscribe to streamer button. Navigate to subscribe. Mm -hmm. Give me money and I will tell you the answer you seek. My Rusty Spoon, thank you for the 10 gifted subscriptions to the channel. All the fun is hidden behind tier three. <laughs> you have to go to the tier three level to find fun. Up until then, you just get general light amusement. Silence brand at tomato. Don't ever fucking at me with that message again. I'm allowed to I'm allowed to do whatever the hell I want here. He's finally selling out. I love money. God damn. God damn. Did he give the key away already? Did he give it to Katie? Katie is actually, in fact, in possession of all of the keys. A thousand bits from Squiglets. You have some more of this trash, I guess. Katie, in fact, has all of them. You can't just give away my key. What the hell? That streamer's keeping me from playing my game. Hang on. Guys, even if you had the key, you wouldn't know what to do with it. You wouldn't be able to play until tomorrow. My key, the keys here don't give you access to the game a day early. Yeah, wait, another 10 hours. What a scam. <laughs> I got scammed again, dude. This streamer owns me every freaking day. I've decided the keys will be given away in gladiatorial combat. On my Minecraft server. Everyone to the Spleef Arena. Everyone to the arena! I hate Spleef. Well, then I guess you're not getting a fucking key. Now dance! In the arena! Leaf is so fun, though. I just made up the first fucking name of a mini game in Minecraft that I could think of. I've never played Spleef, because matter of fact, I've never played any of them. Dude. Fake gamer. Fake Minecrafter. Guys, by the time that Spleef and that shit was in Minecraft, I was like... I was like old enough that I was kind of over playing Minecraft in a lot of ways until like modded popped off like crazy. There was like a window of time where I was just like, no, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. There was like, there's like a fucking gap in like of like four or five years where I was just like, I'm done with Minecraft. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to play on a multiplayer server if I was going to play. And it was pretty much high school.
Spleef was with the snowballs, right? I'm glad you asked because I know. I'm glad you asked so that I could tell you the answer. Mm, no. Yes. Yes. You dig under people, fools. Oh my god, they, guys. A Minecraft spleef master just fucking came into the jet. Actually full on called some of you fools. Omega lol parentheses pre-typed. Hey, get that out of here. All right, when the giveaway is done, I don't want to see no pre-typed messages. No pre-typed messages. You better type them yourself. We'll be able to tell. You said be honest. No presets. <laughs> no, no presets. Hello, this is my giveaway message. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Katie, if the fucking giveaway at any point over the stream spits out a key to someone who said that, roll it again. <laughs> roll it again? If that's what... if I did this. Well, now you've added a new rule to your own thing. All right. The, on the only the only messages that will be eligible for the giveaway are those that rhyme. <laughs> okay, no, that would ruin my stream. That would ruin the whole stream. That would suck. Nah, guys, no rhyme. No rhyme. That a chat wide rhyme jail? Oh god. I enter tomato chat with a click so I can say frick. Okay, it's just too bad that what that guy was posting that really good message like uh, a couple minutes before we actually went in game or they would have won. They would have gotten one off of that. That sucks. No more rhyming. It's over. It's not illegal. No, we can't stop you from rhyming, but it's not going to make you any more eligible. <laughs> Man, I don't want to go to my fucking... I don't want to go to the doctor at nine tomorrow. Fuck! It's like when you have to, like, break from your normal schedule that fucking, like, drastically, it throws off my whole day. Because now I have to, like, go to sleep early. I'm probably not going to sleep well. Once I get there, I'm just going to, like, be a zombie the whole time. I'm barely going to retain what they fucking say to me. I'm going to go back home, and then I'll probably, like, do a coin flip to see if I go back to sleep or just stay up and tough it out for the day. This sucks! This fucking sucks. You can never go back to sleep. No, no, I, I always, I'm able to go back. No, you, you just have to do the math, right? Because um, it's all about mathing out the REM cycles. Because the REM cycle is about 90 minutes, and then the longer you sleep, the longer the REM cycles get. So it's like 90 minutes, and then it's like two hours, and then it's like two and a half hours. So you just got to like wake up in those windows. You gotta min-max it. Or you get miserable when you wake up. So I'd probably like sleep for another like 90 minutes or like three hours. Mm. 
mess while I'm sleeping? Tough it up for 9 a.m. clown emoji. I don't I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, man. So tomato, how about that Borderlands movie trailer? Bro! Finally someone asked about something I'm obviously famously extremely passionate about, dude. Hell yes, dude. What did Claptrap say this time? What did that rascal, that little scamp say this time, dude? Holy shit. What did that scamp get up to? Dude. I, uh... I don't think I give a single shit about Borderlands the movie. I, I thought about it more after I made that big deal about it. I think that if Borderlands the movie was in development for another two years and then Warner Brothers said, and I quote, we're never gonna release it so we can write it off on our taxes, I'd be like, that's probably the best thing that could have happened to that movie. And it would actually be a high chance of that happening. Fake fan. No one would fight for it. No. No. Atla is tomorrow? What are you talking about? What the hell's Atla? Atla also looked like beans. What's Atla? Oh, the new Avatar show? Oh yeah, no, that's tra- Guys, how the hell could anyone think that's going to be good when the main writers from the original series step away from it because they do not like it? Guys, I, I swear that's the second time this has happened for that series. If the writers and creators of the original show step away midway through because they're like, it's so bad, I literally can't be here, I can't have my name on this, then you should be pretty confident that that is a dumpster fire. Guys, it's almost like Avatar The Last Airbender, the animation is a almost perfect product and doesn't need to be adapted to IRL. Yikes, man. But what if it's good? <laughs> it could be good. This could be the one! <laughs> this is it! The big one! Jesus. They could have made something standalone is all I'm saying. That's like the saddest thing is that like, dude, stop trying to make live action Avatar The Last Airbender and just cash in on the fact that there's a super fucking robust, well-designed world and lore to that entire series and just make a fucking new standalone series. Why the hell are they wasting so much fucking time? Just use the world. Stop rehashing the same shit everyone's seen. Disco Elysium live action when what a waste of everyone's time that would fucking be holy shit Oh, dude, uh, what a fucking waste of my time even reading about that being announced would be oh my god I never get that time back Do not ever do that That would be so bad 
Disco Elysium as a plot line can only exist in the medium that it is. Quite genuinely, it could only exist as a video game. Maybe, maybe a stage play with weirdos and masks for the thoughts. Chat, the problem isn't that. The problem is your player agency in that character and that character being a blank slate for you is the reason that game and its story is so compelling. And if that is taken away from you, it becomes 100% less compelling. It is a RPG in the most true sense of the word. And having that shit railroaded in any direction where suddenly someone else's decisions are now the overall more canon choice, it completely cheapens that entire story. Nah, it wouldn't work. He's so wrong. He's wrong, bro. What if they went with the choices I made? Well then, guys, everything's okay. Guys, everything's okay then because they went with my choices because I'm the protagonist. <laughs> I'd be okay because I'm the protagonist and that means my choices were the right ones all along. <gasps> and the main character. <laughs> Impossible cope. <laughs> The only thing you could do with Disco Elysium in a kind of show would be simply departing from the entire plot of Disco Elysium and simply using the world. Again, you'd have to spin it off. That's the only way you could use it at all. Deep Rock Galactic TV show? Is that what DRG is? Or is there a different DRG that I'm thinking of? Why the fuck? Why would you make a fucking Deep Rock Galactic TV show? <laughs> Why would you do that? Factorio the movie. Guys, that would be maybe the most depressing show I could ever think of watching in my entire life. Just this miserable single engineer making a gigantic superstructure factory that destroys the planet he's on before he fucks off after capitalizing on all of its worth. While killing everything on it. <laughs> Hell yes. Isn't that the Lorax? Wait a minute. Troll. Troll. It's just the Lorax. Factorio Lorax mod goes hard. What are you talking? That's not real. That's not a Lorax mod. Urge movie. I don't think anyone would really want that, guys. I don't think anyone would really want an Urge movie. I wouldn't want to be seen going to that movie theater. I wouldn't. I would be looking over my shoulder, worried someone's gonna like fucking be able to prove I went to that movie. You went to the piss gimp movie. I saw it. I have pictures. I'm gonna send it to your employer. 
You went to the Piss Gimp movie. You're gonna get fired. You're never gonna work in this town again. Alright guys, it's time. Pacific Drive. So, um... Katie's gonna be handling all the giveaway stuff. I'm not gonna be... Uh, even really, uh, discussing it after this point. This is all gonna be on Katie's side of things with the chat. Um, for those that are curious, I'm gonna walk through the basics of Pacific Drive when I get in. I'm not starting from scratch because I did the first part of the game, uh, like, uh, two or three months ago. Um, I have the full version now, and we're starting from exactly where I left off in the last session. Which means, uh... Quite literally, the only real plot here is my guy is stuck inside of the zone and he just drove into a black hole and appeared back at his house again. And now I have to keep on exploring. It's about three hours into the game. Just easier than me redoing a boatload of plot that doesn't really, uh, that is actually basically summarized like that. There's not really that much to it. There's a bunch of scientists that are trying to help me and they're all... They're all weirdos, and that's about it. That's a, that's about it. Ah, sorry, I was drinking water. There we go. It's time. Pacific Drive. Now I'm going to be missing a couple of upgrades. I got some of them back, but there are some upgrades that I'm going to be missing from uh, the original session I did or a couple months ago. Uh, I did uh, try to get some of them back, but uh, we'll have to get some of them separately afterwards. Play. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. What the hell's the button to collapse this? What is that button? I'm pressing almost every button. I can't tell backspace isn't doing it. I think it wants me to hold, oh, hold tab. It's hold tab. Okay. Yeah, I want me to hold tab. Yeah, welcome to my garage, chat. Take a look. I live like this. Ever since I got trapped in the zone, man, I live like this. I used to be a delivery driver. I used to deliver, like, I don't know, snacks and stuff to people. I, I delivered DoorDash, man. And then, one day, I had to drive by the worst part of town, and it teleported me directly inside of the zone. And this is my car. None of the doors are very good, except for this one. And this is the inside of my car. It's got all kinds of cords and wires and things. This is what it sounds like. The car says hello. This is my life. I live like this. Storm's really coming down now. Jesus fucking Christ, the storm's really coming down now. It's been going like that for the last two years since I've been here. Tom travels differently in this place. But yes, it's been about two years since I arrived. And this is all I really have to show for it because I don't like going out in the rain. So I, I kind of just, I've been waiting it out. I've gone through all of my rations from the last two years waiting for the rain to end. It just won't end. And I'm not about to get my feet soggy on a trip. I'll wait it out as long as it fucking takes. Here we are, take a look at this. This is the zone. Here I am, at my garage. I have one objective right now, after my last quest, which was to shoot myself into a black hole to see what would happen. I lived, and my car was fine, and now I have a new job, which is to specifically just go and drive. That's what the, that's what the scientist told me is the best way for me to get the hell out of here after two years. All I have to do is go and drive. Apparently, you can just drive out. 
So I'm gonna repair the- I'm gonna repair my car and get everything all set and then we're just gonna go on a drive. I guess. I don't- I don't think I can wait around in this rain any longer. We got some spare tires, we have a spare scrapper, we got some first aid kits. Uh, we got some battery jumpers, I got some slime. I got this anomalous studies paper that's supposed to go into a fax machine. Uh, I don't know where the fax machine is, so I'm just gonna put it in my locker. This is the tech machine- get this shit the fuck out of the way. MOVE THIS THING! That's my luggage. Storm's really bad. This is all the tech I have. Uh, I used to have more in the, uh, last, uh, playthrough. Unfortunately, I kind of beelined it to the progression this time. So, we are going to have to do some catching up, which means it's a good thing the game wants us to do some exploration. Because, uh, I'm missing, like, doors. I haven't even unlocked better tires yet. Uh, we- we are gonna have to cash out on a real... Uh, on a real good old-fashioned scavenger run. Which is fine! Alright, I can handle that! We got everything we need already! I've got repair putty if things go wrong. I'm gonna quickly craft one or two more little backup things, and then we are ready to go. I'm just gonna make a mechanics kit. And a ceiling kit. So if something goes wrong out there, guys, I'll be good to go! I'm gonna put these all away for now inside the car. Got my cans of food in case I get hungry. Everything. Ah, fuck. That actually hurt my character that time. That's not how it used to be. Wait, really? Ow, ow, ow. Someone give me $20 or I'm gonna fucking do it. Come on, give me $20 and I'm going to fucking do it, dude. I will. I swear to God, I'll fucking do it, dude. $20! $20 right now! I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bigly Blue. For that. That was close. Wind's getting really bad. It's actually blowing into the fucking garage now. I'm gonna close the door, I think, if I could. Which I can't. Alright, guys. I had to eat every can of food I owned. Which I easily could have used this first aid, but I was just kind of funny. Uh, and hungry. So I, I, I just, I just, I, I let it go. We're fine now. Everything's good. Um, it's time to go. I was just being a little funny. Uh, everything's fine. Hey, is it safe to leave tonight? <laughs> hey. Hey, guys! Is it safe to leave? It's probably gonna be better somewhere else. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure the, let's see, battery's all charged. Fuel is fueled up. Wait, battery's not charged. Hang on. Batteries charged, fuel is filled ish. We're good to go. We're good to go. All right, I'm gonna pack us up. We were told to just do some basic exploration. So I'm going to choose to take us towards this place, which isn't in the direction of JCT E1 blistering woods, extreme danger conditions. We're gonna go simply to a normal, okay everywhere place to warm up. Wait. Oh, the rain finally stopped. Oh, thank God. It's been raining for the last 18 years. I've been stuck in this garage waiting for it to finally let up. It's about God dang time. Come on, guys. Time to drive. Now we are heading due left and south. Listen to that bad boy purge at holy. Damn! Listen to that engine! Stay. 
And now we just take a quick left. And we're good. At least four cylinders. I would say there may even be five in this thing. Chat. If I had if I had to make a guess, four is probably not accurate. It's probably five. Five? How? Anomalous. <laughs> Anomalous. Let's roll. It's time. JCTG8 Backroads, Damp Forest, Outer Zone. Let's take a look at that map. All right, we are right here. We are gonna hit that town up ahead and then we're gonna swing on up north. That's about all that's out here anyways. Come on. Now the general loop of uh, Pacific Drive is, it is a roguelike, or light specifically you go around scavenging trash you see in the road and in houses and stuff while slowly building up resources to upgrade your car back at your base by teleporting your car back. You go on increasingly distant drives, depending on which region you're trying to go to, and you, uh, you kind of just load up on supplies. It's a road trip. Uh, except the problem is there's all kinds of horrible garbage at fucking everywhere. Like, whatever that is. This horrible, anomalous, stalker-esque trash just all over the fucking place. Holy moly, holy moly, are you kidding me right now? Bobby, you saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. You saw what? What do you mean, what? The hallucinations, like the ones from 1961. It happened again. I, Tobias, this is one of the like three scientists. Wait. You didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my system. Colossal Cappy right. is the thing I drove into to get to this point in the game from the last like session. What? Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? I'm gonna turn off now, my car while I wait for them to shut the hell up so I can focus on the road! When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only Be that, nicer, what the fuck? The hit source was more nah, the voice acting in this game is actually great. But, uh... Yeah, in the deep zone. Uh, that's impossible. It's been... 40 years. 40 years since something came out of the deep zone. My god, 40 whole years since something came out of the deep zone. Back on the road, guys, come on. Now, uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is, actually, because I haven't identified anything in this run, really. I'm just gonna hop out of my car quick and anomaly scan this. Right now, what we are looking at is a sizzling mist. A uh, sizzling mist that's is... Not all. This hallucination wave that Never mind, I'll tell you after Francis is done talking. <laughs> it's equal and opposite to Francis? <laughs> Francis? They're paired signals. It means they're related, and and, and what's Francis, more, if we uh, bring gonna... that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, Francis. we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. Oh a yeah, my car is a parasite, humans. and it's gonna slowly kill me. <laughs> this is insane. After all this time, we find a remnant uh, lead on the mass hallucination. My car is gonna slowly kill me. And a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis. It's a remnant. It's a, it is. It is evil. Decade. Just and will make me go involved. insane. The remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you What the fuck was him. that? Oh. I I need to go. This is you, Francis! We have so what much. What the fuck is that do. thing? I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, you guys just careful. let me know, I guess. Not in the right mind, okay? so, all right. Uh, watch yourself. Bye, guys. Love you. They never say it back anyway, so who cares, I guess. I wanted to read what this anomaly was. Quick. It's really important. This was sizzling mist. Memo, FAO, Dr. Lopez, December 2nd, 1965, addendum. You are right. The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the cloud so conductive. 
This isn't a storm like an electrical storm like we'd expect to find in the skies above. And we'll do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else. Something both more intense and yet also so much more localized. Game doesn't pause when I'm reading, by the way. I could get, like, shot any second. No. I think with a little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replicate some of the behavior in a lab setting, budget permitting. God, is this exciting. Our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for sure. Uh, so this doesn't actually explain to me what this is, but it being made out of lightning implies typically that it's going to do something bad to my car's electronics, but also possibly charge my battery. Uh, so I'm gonna... Why my car do that? Oh, whatever. Let's drive. We got a long way to go still before we get to town. Down the road. Oh! Oh, get the fuck off my car. That shit. All right. All right. Die! Get off. Hold out of you. Fucking weird. Goddamn pieces of shit. I know my car's rolling backwards. I'm killing these things first. There, Jesus. Now give me all this crap. Picked up the raspberry. What do you mean? Hang on. I, pe I think I just got a newspaper out of this. Oh, gosh, mind if I read this quick. Wait. Put in detailing station to what is this? It's an antenna. The raspberry. We got loot. Let's roll. Come on. Dude, I've lost a ten like a fucking twentieth of my battery off of this shit because it's just been taking me so long to get there because I'm under constant siege. Let's try to get to the fucking place. The faster we get to town now, the better. We're on our way. There's no storms coming. Thankfully, it's relatively peaceful here tonight. Don't know how to feel about those floating rocks. Hello, Tomato. I'm writing to you today in hopes of receiving a key. This message has been pre-typed and will be reposted every 10 minutes. Please consider me for the giveaway. Thanks for having a good day. Frick, parentheses, respectfully. So based. <laughs> Guys, so fucking based. I'm gonna pull into this house over here and pick up these two cells of yellow, like, piss energy while I'm here, because that's how we teleport out of here at the end of the trip. Very important. So I'm gonna park the car here. Car's off, let's go. And I'm also going to pull out these road flares I have so I can fucking see. Oh, it's locked. The news is, that doesn't matter to me. Is that? Do you guys hear something scamper towards me? Hello? There's someone out there? Must be nothing. Hang on, I'm just gonna harvest all the stuff here. Get all this. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Go away. Fuck off. Don't come near me. I'm just gonna close the door. Guys. Guys. Don't touch my car. Go away! Go away! Get... Get on out of here! Be gone! Be gone, alien! Be gone! He's eyeing up the car, guys. <laughs> that piece of shit is eyeing up the car. It's pissing me the hell off. Loads of clothes. We're gonna take all that. 
Gonna transfer that over to where it should be. Gonna take everything in this cooler too, and the can of food. We are hungry. Get the. Let's go grab the uh, the piss particles and then um, get out of here. We got one over here and then another one a little bit farther inland. Grab both of these. Don't worry, guys. It's totally safe to carry these by hand, even if the game gives you a bunch of feedback telling you otherwise. Ignore it. Yeah. See, it's safe. And that's one done. And we'll grab that again. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, fuck! Drive! We're in the piss field! It spilled. The piss has spilled. Okay, we're going straight ahead now. Everything on the map looks ideal and good, and we can technically leave whenever we want, but we're gonna collect another one of those piss particles on the way. I don't know what that giant cord, what is this? What is this power line? Hang on. Stop your fucking car. What is it? I don't remember there being a power line here. Relay circuit gate. Trashing my forest is unbearable. Think of Bill the Bear. Keep our forests clean. If Bill comes anywhere fucking near me today, I swear to God, it's so over for him. Ooh, a packed uh, trunk. Absolutely packed. Have all those road flares. It's hard to see with all this darkness, but uh, we're just mainly checking the trunks. Another road flare. Road flares is good. And I'm gonna put these on uh, two on my quick slot. There we go. Grind up car. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to. For whatever vague reason that you may never understand. Isn't there a flashlight? If you unlock it, which I haven't. Come on, let's just focus up. Wait, wait, why are those two things closed now? They were labeled yellow before, and I could open them when I wanted to. Is it because I'm too close? I'm too close. I think I have to drive farther away from this place in order to leave, but I want to loot these town, like the actual town up here for like resources before I go. So I have to drive back to the center when I'm done and then loop back around for the race. Yes. Anyways, welcome to town. We are going to casually be looting almost everything here. Not really sure what some of this is. Some of these horrible things. But, uh, go ahead and park. What is this? It's making, uh, it seems like it's revving up some kind of energy. What was that? We've been considering repurposing the and the early anomaly barricade technology. We've invested incredible amounts of time, money, and resources into this project. And while it may not work as intended, we've still developed something that has intriguing potential applications. I'd like to talk to you a little about it uh, today. But first, it's been brought to our attention that the engineers have reconfigured our prototypes to exhibit, shall we say, various whimsical behaviors. Together, we have created a responsive reactive system that is contact sensitive. Please... You, these things aren't supposed to be used for racing checkpoints. 
jack-in-the-box jokes or visual gags. We need to run into all of these when we leave to activate the portal. We are going to annihilate all these circuits. This is a racing line. It all makes sense now. What's in here? Trash. Clothes. More trash. Garbage. Trash. Go check the trunk of this car. It's locked. More freaking flares, which I love to see. Let's continue onwards. For the record, I'm leaving flares on the ground that I've used, even though I could pick them back up because um, sometimes the game doesn't really like it doesn't it, it doesn't like you picking back up flares. Like I've had trouble with flares specifically, so I kind of need to get the flashlight soon. But it's it's on it's on my docket. What the f Oh, it's a whole flock of them. Just turn off the car. Maybe they won't see us. Where the hell did those things go? Show yourself! Oh. Fuel barrel. Half full. I, by the way, I only have one headlight. Uh, I haven't been able to replace it yet. Um, in that case, I'm actually gonna... gonna do this. Pull out my fuel can. Gonna fill this up. And I'll pull out some of the fuel from that. Very nice. Trunk gunk. Apply. Is there something in here? No. Ooh! Game Boy! Actually, really nothing in here. Other than a fridge. But I mean, I mean, the fridge has a lot of stuff, so that's actually pretty good. That's good. Uh, what's next? I just want to make sure I loot all the supplies around here. Crate outside with more stuff. Not bad. Anything in the back? No, but there is another cabinet. More trash. That tower's worth checking out. I'm gonna walk over to that. Car, you stay here, okay? Let me just check the batteries. 33.9? Alright, turn off the headlights. I'll be right back, car. You stay here. I'm gonna walk to this. Surely I'm not gonna get jumped. What is that? That's hot dust. Whatever, it's not in the way. There is, however, horrible radiation by this tower. Let's do this quickly. It's fucking locked. Where's my impact hammer? Equip. Open. Now. Pick it back up. Okay, this will get us some fucking loot. This is good for us. If I don't die of radiation poisoning. Or it'll be one box and a, transmu a transmuter, which I don't really need. Uh, we can turn pry bars into lead plates. Uh, and I don't really want to do that. So this was a nothing zone. I'm out of here. Box. Worth it. Ah. Ooh, backpack. Worth it. What the? <laughs> Anomalous trees, man. Oh! I'd like to go to my car. I'd like to go to my car. Now, thank you. Oh, we are in a bad. We're getting out of here. 
It's an anomaly storm! Better time is any to race the hell out of this place. Before it gets too bad. Ow! <laughs> Didn't see that pillar there. Oh, it's go it was going over us the other way. Hang on, guys. We are not leaving. We are, in fact, going deeper the other direction. I, uh, missed- I, I, I misjudged the trajectory. We're fine. Everyone, everyone relax. You can unbuckle your seatbelts now. We're not actually running. Now, excuse me, I have to grab this piss particle. Boom. The final piss particle has been obtained. Now where the hell do I go? Already got that. There's a couple more houses, like little science houses over here. These are actually like the best loot I can get right now. Is that thing coming right for me? No, it stopped. Okay, park here. That thing coming right for me? Nah, it's going around. Okay, get out, but um... Yeah, turn the whole car off. There's no way that buzzsaw will kill me. Get this over with. Lab computer that we can harvest and we will. Wow, the audio sounds going on right now, chat, really make me feel miserable. I, I, I feel like any second now I'm gonna step out of my car and I'm gonna... We're gonna ride this out. It's gonna get better in time. We're just gonna get back in the car and uh, pull on out of this spot. Fuck, I just got back out of the car. Get back in the car and let's just, um... We'll loot the next place. This house is a bust on account of all the radiation. That was the saw. I don't see the last house, but I do see a little jump. Okay, guys, we're out of here. This sucks and we're out of here before my car gets fucked up. We're gonna take that race line. We're gonna see how that goes for us. Uh, and then we're gonna activate the exit. So how does this work? I- oh, I go- okay, so I go through- do I slam into this? Oh, I go near it, okay. I can handle this. Hell yes! Dude. Well, what is this gonna get me? I Man, I have to go this way anyways to activate the exit, so this is- This is great. I just don't know what it's doing. Okay. All right. Piece of cake. Clean. Where's the last one? Is this right here? Did I, did I do it? Pneumatic deposit box. Red paint, copper wire, road flares. Okay. Red red paint mean it goes faster, guys. Red paint means car's gonna go faster. Alright, let's go. So here's how this game works. This was a good warm-up level. So now that we're here, I'm gonna activate the gateway. It's time to tell the game that we're ready to leave because we are at a dead end zone. The only thing worth looting left would be like that house and I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna activate. I'm gonna tell the game I wanna leave from this port. And now we gotta hit that beam before the fucking storm of death comes in and kills us all. Let's fucking drive. I was hoping I would accelerate faster. Sometimes I forget this car sucks. Come on, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. 
Okay. <laughs> Alright, fun's over. Let's get out of here. All five cylinders in this car are screaming with energy. The little ball in the tube is shaking around. Let's get the hell out of here. Right now. At a cool 20 miles an hour and no faster. Hey, I'm home. A good old fashioned 2.436 mile. What just popped off of my vehicle? I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. Oh. Things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver. They're foggy now. Hey, it's okay, Abby. Like she this. sent me into the black hole, and now she feels done, guilty. But I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why okay. the remnants are connected to it. Okay. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, Ow, maybe fuck. they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for okay. now. Okay. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until I'll do the nothing. remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Okay. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Okay. Where's the detailing station? There, this is the tinker station, which diagnoses problems with my vehicle, but where's the detailing station so I can add this fun antenna? That matters a lot more to me than all of this. Alright, cars refilled. Oops, put that there. Uh, I'm gonna put, um... I'm gonna put my freaking paint veil. And the antenna right there. Is, this is not paint. How dare you ever fucking question me, video game? What do you know? This is not paint. Not paint. Well, where the hell is the detailing station? What am I, detailless for like, uh, even, uh, whatever. Okay, guys. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to- Oh, I have to learn how to make a matter deconstructor first with goddamn stable energy? What is this? Error, missing ingredients. I'd have to make gears for this. Which is uh, staggeringly affordable, actually, for me. I can make that in 10 seconds and make the matter deconstructor. Workbench. Gears. Shockingly cheap for me. I'm gonna make a couple. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the matter deconstructor because that feels very important, considering it's access to everything else for the entire garage. That's gonna use some of my stable energy I obtained during that last mission. And now I pick this up. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in right uh, here. That's how construction works. Matter deconstructor. So now I can just kind of grab something. I guess for the sake of this, I'm going to put this half broken scrapper in. And it makes one scrap metal and one plastic. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to make a new one. Cool. And we still have 1.3 stable energy, which I'm going to use not on the detailing station, because I would like real doors. I'm going to say something some of you may not like. We need doors, which of course, door. everyone knows doors are made out of t-shirts, guys. So, uh, good news is we already have exactly what we need to make steel doors, which is two t-shirts. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pump that. Boom. Now I know how how to do it exactly. Oh, it was the two t-shirts which was made to make the piece of paper that the schematic was on. And we still have, uh, let's see, 0.8 stable energy left, which is just enough for me to get another upgrade, which I'm going to use. Um, 
learning how to make... Hang on. A relightable flare? No. Headlights? No. Uh... Um... Uh, what's the most valuable thing I could get? A uh, detailing station! We're putting on the raspberry now. Come on, chat. Let's get the fucking raspberry placed. Dude. Hell yes. We can both detail our car and get quick revive while we're here. That's huge. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and install the raspberry if I can figure out how. Open inventory. Okay, I put it in there. Haha, ha, insert streamer's name is so funny, Omegalol, 100% pre-typed 420 EST. You're adding the time now? What the fuck? Alright. Uh, let's put the raspberry on. Come on, guys. Huge. Dude, I'm just gonna cover my fucking vehicle with all kinds of fun stickers and like little things. That's fun for me. Nice, I'm gonna turn my car into a spaceship. Huge for me. This is just huge for me. Absolutely gigantic. What do I have in here? Okay, we got all the different flags. Okay. But what I want is specifically this uh, astronaut untethered from his spaceship probably having the worst day of his fucking life as he drifts around deep space with basically no way to save his life. Install that shit. Huge. Where is that? Where is it? Hell yes. Dude, look at this fucking wheel! We are in a new era. Slick. You even got this bobble head. It bobbles. It's a dog. All right, uh, this is the next important part, guys. I have to grab decals. We're gonna make this thing look like a shuttle. Hell yes. Hell yes. Now this is a fucking vehicle. Uh, time to make some new doors, guys, because these crude ones I have, well, we're tossing them in the trash. All these crude doors are coming off and we're replacing them with steel. All right, we're not going to keep living like this. We definitely have the hardware for it. We're turning all these crude doors into new steel doors that'll actually have some fucking decent protection. We're upgrading this car. Now. It's time. Steel door. Scrap metal, three out of six. Where the hell's all my scrap metal? I know for a fact I have 8,000 scrap metal. Where's all my scrap metal? Two? One? What the hell happened to all my scrap metal? Where did, where did all that go? Did it turn into the detailing machine? What the hell do you mean? Hang on. Break one of these apart. I found this thing while I was fucking, uh progressing originally the other day. I got this pearl made out of dumpster garbage. 
I'm gonna smash it with a hammer and see what it makes. Guys, nothing happened. I, I cracked it. Okay. I, I think I'm gonna try to crack it again. I, I feel like that was, that was the point. It's hurt now. Oxidized. Guys, why did it have that much durability? I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna feed it to the deconstructor. <laughs> Absolutely gigantic. Thanks. And it dropped paint. He's losing so hard. What do you mean? And plus now I can make two doors. Because it dropped two steel sheets. L. For you. L for you. Yoge. I'm gonna make the next part the trunk. Huge. I still have these trashy crude. I don't, dude, I would rather break these things down and see if I can get real doors. Hang on. Dumpster. This bad boy is taking care of me through some hard times. Eight ball shifter. <laughs> it provides again. Absolutely gigantic. Actually fucking gigantic. Fuck astral shifter. Get me the eight ball shifter. Now. Gigantic. Why the hell did the car make a beeping sound there? Well, it's fine, chat, because actually I can get plenty of metal by breaking down this vehicle directly outside. <laughs> Some of you must have thought that I was doomed, but in fact, huh, I'm not. I'm not doomed at all. As you see, I can get everything I need from nature. That's your last car. No, it isn't. And don't write the freaking. Don't try to write the canon for this goddamn story. It's my story. It's my tapestry to fucking weave. So, no, this isn't my car. Because I didn't drive this. And you do well to remember. If I break down all these, I bet I can get enough metal to make the rest of the parts I need for the doors. Mm. If I fuck up, this could destroy my entire way of life. But I'm gonna see how much this gives me if I deconstruct one of these, because I do have a spare. Oh, we're good. Okay, we're gonna deconstruct all of them manually, and that should math out to me actually having exactly what I need. <laughs> For sure. That's a lot. Okay, that's huge value. Okay, the matter deconstructor was a good call. Oh my fucking god, look at all this. And you know what? We didn't even fucking remember to check the Oh wait, no, we did. We don't we this is all we have left. I'm gonna make the parts and then I'll see if I can de deconstruct that last door. One. This if RNG is on my side, this door will give me exactly enough scrap metal to finish the fight. Guys, I am so fucked. Guys, it is so fucking over. It is so over. <laughs> Guys, I have no idea how to explain how completely doomed we collectively are. It's all of us. We're in this together. And the problem is, we're all doomed. Unless. Unless. These gears I made. I don't need these fucking things. If we break them all down, we can turn them back in their t into their default scrap metal parts. Which. Oh my god. Means I can make the door. Craft. 
Final door complete. This car is actually looking pretty good if you ignore the one missing headlight and nasty fucking steel beam I have for a bumper attached with freaking bungee cables. Mm -hmm. If you ignore those parts, it's really good. Now I need to get to the slime. Now I gotta get to the slime in the back of the car. Let me grab the slime and get the slime out. Alright, we gotta fix this car up. Get dents in it. None some slime won't fix. Hell yes. Now those extra parts you're seeing are just natural good old rust. There's nothing wrong with them. Clean up some more of the slime. Get this steel panel, fix it up with more slime. Steel door. Fix that with slime later. Bumpers. Slime. Wheels. Nothing some slime won't fix. Fix up that fix up that bumper too. Everything else here is looking good. Yep. Fixed up with slime. Put the rest of it in the back. This car tragically is road worthy. Guys, I'm gonna put this paint away. And it's time to pick out our next destination. What an excellent trip that was. All right. Where the hell are we going? If you're ready to do this with me, here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. Okay. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. Okay. I, I can do that. What are the, the junctions? Hang up. Hang up. Hot mic. Hot mic. Op Oppie, your mic still is still on. You're hang up. Okay, thank you. Uh hang on guys. So I've got junction conditions. I'm not sure what this jumping uh this uh Junction condition actually means it's got some like bird on it, but it won't let me read it. Hmm. Maybe it just means it's cool. I'm tempted to go this way and explore a new area. Because I think that'll let me jump to that. I think I can jump to that from here if I go here first. If I pick this, then I can continue to the next spot. Eh, I'll just go the way that I already charted. We'll go to E5. We'll take the trip to E5. Come on, guys. We got a lot of supplies we're going to need to collect today. We are, uh, we are desperate for loot. Now, double check. Everything's looking good. Car is fully charged with uh, batteries. Fuel is good. Headlight still missing. Honking horn. Sounding good. Handbrake. Handbrake. Car. Creepily saying hello to me despite the fact it is not alive. Let's fucking drive. Stop the fucking car. Something immediately is wrong with my wheel. Turn it off. Check. This is just so fucking typical. The fuck's wrong with it? What? Who put glass in front of the fucking garage door? This went flat on its own. What do you mean it went flat? Flat, bald. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even make it out of the fucking garage all the way before it went bald and flat. How do I- Well, I can't fix it being bald. It's so over. Just throw it out. Throw it in the deconstructor and grab a new tire. Make a new one. It's only- it's only gonna be a spare. Piece of shit. Piece of trash. What the- what are you doing? 
<laughs> what are you doing? Come on, guys. This car's ready to re ready to go. Brand is time for real. This time, for real. Piece of shit. It's not a piece of shit. This is my space car. It's going eighty down the fucking highway. How dare you question it? Nah, I'm actually, guys, <laughs> I could go this way. This says it has maximum houses, though. It's going to be really good for loot. E5 is going to be good for loot. I want maximum houses. It's going to get us a lot, of, a lot of treasure. 80 on a spare. Guys, it's only a spare to the game. It's not a spare to me. To me, it's the real deal. All right. We're gonna park in town. Everything's really close together. We're gonna use a lot of the stuff in this place. But first, park. Do a quick uh, trunk check. Boatloads of these things. Oh, and about those anomalies. Uh huh. I don't recommend you spend much time around them, unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone and limb technology, but a footnote in the history books. The anomalies will remain. They're the legacy I see. of our work here. And the Olympic Peninsula belongs to them now. No, it belongs to me. You see, I realize no one owns the property here anymore. So as long as I lay claim to it, it's mine legally. You don't understand. I actually own it. It does not matter what anyone else says. I claimed it. Oh, it's like a whole neighborhood. All right, well, um, most responsible thing I could do is park right in the middle right here of these four houses and get started. Headlights off, car off. Let's get looting, guys. Tragically, without a flashlight. In the middle of the eternal night. Come on. Backpack. In the middle of a complete eternal night. Fridge. Box. There's a lot of snacks and plastic around. Someone's phone. Anything in here? Another phone. What does this even give me? What's in the phone? Doesn't actually say. I mean, this will give me stuff I need. We need copper wires. We need 9 volt batteries. We definitely need plastic. And we need electronics. What's that? More copper wires. And what's outside? Something's out here, I can hear it. You guys hear that too, right? There's something in town. I'm gonna try to just go away from it. Oh! Oh, fucking! Die! Wait, that's a happy hair. Come with me. Wait, wait, are you bad? I can't remember, it says happy hair. What exactly do you do again? Over the past year, I've seen anomalies cause all manner of chaos. Okay, dissolve trucks and puddles of goo, tear human beings apart. This week, I saw the first sign that things might change. I caught a rare glimpse of hope. Perhaps not everything we unleash here in this gigantic cosmic accident has been bad. We've logged several sightings of a new anomaly. At first, it matches the description of so many others, but this one is different. It actually repairs things, apparently seeking out damaged material and regenerate. Why did it seek out me? <laughs> Come here, you have explaining to do. You wait right there. And heal my car. Why did it, uh, why did it lunge at me? I'm not damaged. I'm not damaged. I'm 
I'm exactly how I want to be. I'm not damaged. Trash. Ah, uh, it's raining now, man. This sucks. This whole place is trash. This is good loot. Aside from the moaning I keep hearing. The horrid moaning. Ooh, black paint or road flares. An actual loot chest. Another radio. Stop denying it. I'm not denying it. I'm really not damaged. Wow, this game is pretty. I just threw a flare by accident. Give me. All these houses are like locked though. None of them are real. They're all sealed up. How the hell am I supposed to get any treasure like this? It's all just garages. There's something in this one? Oh, just rocks? Don't mind if I do. I'll take some- I'll, I'll, I'll take this stuff despite the fact it's covered in rocks. Whoa! Where the fuck did you come from? You better get out of here, this place is evil. Hey, you freak, you better get the hell out of here. It's, um, this place ain't good for us. Us humans, that is. Okay, that's the first set of buildings. I'm gonna pull this car up. Thanks for hanging out. You keep on healing my car, all right? Don't think you're allowed to go on break anytime soon. You stay right there. Whoa, I'll actually pull up to the gas station. That's a good spot. And then I'm gonna grab that yellow schmutz and keep on going south. Eeg dance. Damn. Here we are again. It's Eeg dance. Please. God fucking damn it, then what good is it? I don't even need fuel, dude. What, what do I care? Okay, I'm gonna head to the houses that I didn't loot on this la uh, lane first and then loot back around. Man, I can't be asked messaging every 10 minutes. I'm sorry you don't have the fight in you. <laughs> Kinda weak. Chat, you do know that's just how uh, Steam or uh, Twitch giveaways work with the raffle system. <laughs> it's kind of how you filter just like anyone just sitting in chat. That do be how Nightbot works. Is that all I got out of that? Some trash? Nothing. All these houses are completely impossible to enter. This entire town has been overrun by radiation. Let me open this. Backpack. More clothes. Nothing else. Dumpster. Loads of stuff in the dumpster. The dumpsters are actually some of the best loot you can pull in this here place. Truly. We love the dumpster. Wait, 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 wait. Grabbed it. Anything else? Dude, grab that. That's useful. Grab that. Whatever. Guys, seeing stuff like this makes me get kind of stressed out that there's some kind of psycho out here. Like, this is some shit you'd see as graffiti in frickin' Gotham. Alright? <laughs> I'd worry about seeing this shit in Gotham. Like, I would think this is like the Joker. I, I, now I don't know what to expect. I gotta get a flashlight.
Can't keep living like this. Now I'm getting all kinds of mixed messages. Now I'm, now I think it's the Joker again. What the fuck is happening? What is this? Oh fuck. I'm getting all kinds of mixed messages, guys. I don't know what's going on. The rocks are breathing. No. Hello? Hello? I pulled out my vacuum instinctively to defend myself. They're here. The aliens. They've come to visit me. They've come to visit me. I don't have time. They're taking too long to land, dude. I'm going over here. We still have some more buildings to check. Don't have time for this shit. I get all this loot. Need all these. Need all this duck. Duck tape. Did that thing just grab the bunny and haul it into a fucking wall? Dude, leave them alone. Leave the rabbit alone, dude. It didn't do anything. Let him go. Bro, let him go. At least this is the most harmless area. I Ooh, a TV to destroy. Lovely. Better not see that thing grabbing my car. No, I swear to God. Inventory full. And I'm going to swing back to the car to drop stuff off because I'm scared. Those... Why are those things acting so agitated? Those assholes did hurt my car! Oh, you goons! That looks fine. They, mo they wrangled my car, though. Ow, fuck! Getting really tired of that. Everything looks fine. They just kind of moved it. All right, well, I'll, I'm will i gonna go hit the last of the buildings. I'm not gonna move the car, because it's actually in the right spot. Grab the bunny. No, the bunny is gonna stay, guys. This is their natural habitat. I really have no interest in, like, hauling the rabbit around all day. Really, this has just been an incredible loot run for a guy that has very little loot because uh, this is technically a different run than the um, one I did a couple months ago. So, I'm just happy to pull a lot of shit in a relatively harmless area. Oops. While these abductors just kind of go, Ugh. Chill, 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 chill. Freak. Dude, if I didn't look at it, it was gonna fucking pick me up by my head and spin me around. All right, that's everything in here. Uh, okay. Last thing to do is that barn, which is surrounded by abductors. Look, they're mostly harmless. Looks like this thing actually doesn't have anything in it. Aside from this TV, which I will destroy because TVs are worth quite a bit. For the pressurized cartridges specifically. Hey, freak. Okay, time to go. We're leaving this zone now. We have collected enough. And shit is getting a little silly. Ow! He stole my freaking. He stole my fucking flare! Stop! Oh, it's a fucking storm. That's what this is. 
There's a storm overhead. Okay, guys, get in the car. Come on, guys. Time. Bonnie! I need you now! Where are you going? No! The fucking abductor is gonna grab you, you freaking idiot! Fucking fool! We are getting the hell out of. Actually, we're gonna ride it out! We're just gonna ride the storm out! Everyone just stay calm! It's about to pass over here! We are just gonna ride it out! Oh. Nah, I'm fine. I don't need him. Hold! 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 And... We lived, baby. There it is. Simple as that. Let him go, man! Let him go, man! Hey, let him go! Put him down! Pick on someone your own size! See, I scared him to drop him. I made him drop it. Hey guys, we are gonna go follow this road now. Come on. Why is the world so cruel? I just couldn't tell you. I do want to hit both of these yellow things, though. We need all the XP we can get for our, um, schematics. So I am quite tempted to take the road over here to grab the, uh, little, little yellow guy. The piss particle, as we know it. Do I, hang on, do I grab this? Hold up. There is stuff, <gasps> yo. Yo, 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 there's something in here. There's loot. There's real loot. Grab. Grab, grab. Uh, it's getting a little silent hill in here, so I'm gonna try to go. It's getting foggy. There's like a fog coming through. There's some bullshit that I, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I'm, I am gonna still go for the bonus loot, though. I'm not gonna give up that easy. All this is normal out here. I'm just gonna cut around the uh, bullshit. Straight line. Straight line right up the hill. Unless I have the... Oh, fucking Christ. Oh God, there's dozens of these weirdos. Is this a downed tree? Okay, in that case, I gotta go around this. This is a really obnoxious trip to get. Oh. oh. Why does the car feel like it's worse than it used to be? Like, making it look like a spaceship has actually caused some kind of, like, divine intervention in the sense of, like, now God is, like, is, like, actually deliberately making it worse to punish me for believing that it could ever be that strong. Nah, man, it's definitely faster. You really believe that, man? Let's just grab the fucking yellow thing and go back down and get the hell out of here. Good news is the second one is actually at the exit we're taking. So it'll be pretty easy to get to after this. Should be able to see it in a second if I cut the lights. Dude, how do I turn off the- Oh my god! I was like- I felt like a fucking maniac! I was like, why is it so bright in here? I've just had the fucking interior lights on the whole fucking stream! Finally, I can see. Oh my god, I can read the map. See, what sucks is this is actually a straight line situation. I, there's no more road to take. I just have to go to this. Weird factory thing. Some other doofus drove out here once before. Still, um... 
no eyes on the actual target. Somewhere behind this pillar, I think, though. There it is. Alright, that's my spot. I really wish it was, like, daytime. Oh, fucking hell, these guys. These fucking guys. Let's go around them. Easy. There we go. Park. Have it quick and let's get the fuck out of here. Quickly. Plug it. Dude, move. Did that guy actually get in the fucking way while I wasn't... Get in the car. Fucking piece of shit, asshole. Ooh, there's one right behind me! God damn it! Fuck! They blow up if you touch them. They're bombs, guys. My bumpers! Dude, this sucks. This place sucks. You can barely see in all this fucking advanced darkness. My mirrors! Whatever. Back to the road. Let's see it from here. Let me go down the way we came. Or we go the psycho radical way and take a straight line right down the steepest part of the hill, like so. Birds. I didn't know birds lived in this place. This actually isn't that bad. This is actually shockingly doable. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I got this under control, guys. There we go. And that's the cra that's the tipped over tree. We're just gonna cut around that too. There's some bullshit happening, so I'm gonna try to leave. Oh, that was a car! That's what the bumper's for, dude. Now, here's the biggest issue. If I take another hit like that to the front, guys, my uh, headlight, my only headlight, will go out, and we will be stuck here in the shadow. That part worries me. Dude, I, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna get out of my car for a second because I can't actually tell. Seems like the only way to actually do this is to take the jump or take it really slow around this little shrub because both sides are blocked. Okay, I think I made the right call. Is that a fucking tunnel? Yo, that's super safe. It's like the safest place to be. Stop. I am gonna loot this car for supplies. Specifically, metals. I need metal. Gotta have it, dude. This car's covered in it. Gonna need it. That's it. full-on real steel panels on top of it. Wait, why did it say my inventory was full? Put this stuff away. I'm guessing steel panels are just very large. It's got a decent amount of fuel as well. Huge. That's just the engine block. More metal, tamed, some attire. Wait a minute, before I break this thing, this is only flat. Wait a minute, this is an upgrade. Don't break it the rest of the way. Wait, I can't remove it from this. Oh, I can't pull out ones unless I have like the proper tool. Okay, so I can pull off uh, components eventually in this game. I think I just need a specific tool for it that I don't have on this character, but I can do it eventually. Uh, which will be helpful for stuff like tires. Though I will be getting the tire upgrade in a minute. When I'm done with this run, we're upgrading tires. So I don't have to keep on miserably, like, dealing with spares for all my wheels. Resources looking good. More cars to scavenge. Uh, I am gonna grab these guys. It's just good. It's a good habit to get into with how little metal I have. Till I've replaced all of my metal that I've spent, specifically.
huge. Hoarder stream. It ain't hoarding if I don't have any. Man. It would be hoarding if I already had a million. Fool. Dude, I barely even have a like two like a working car. My headlights aren't even both working, man. I'm miserable. Back on the road. I'm skipping this one. This one's being skipped. Garbage. Garbage. Man, tunnel's kind of spooky, but it's also kind of quiet. Uh, right behind that static is actually another one of those piss orbs. The piss particle. The whole accident in, in this goddamn county was caused by these things. Porbs. <laughs> the porb! Let's go! Rabbit, you came back! They came back! They lived. Alright, come on, you're coming with me. We're leaving to the next zone, Rabbit. Wow. Let's fucking ride. We're going to the next place. Going back to Serum, which is where the spooky black hole is. That we drove into last time, but this time we're apparently not going there. But you will get to see it. <laughs> and it looks pretty fucking scary. It's really bad looking. Serum. At least it's daytime. So what the hell am I doing here? There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Okay. Like another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. All right. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. Okay. The only way we could operate is a live research compound despite the instability. And yes. Same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. And technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. I see. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Mora have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Okay. Yeah, I can find a map. Find the observation tower overlooking Sierra. Yeah, I can do that. That's actually that's totally doable. I'm totally not going to get killed. There's just no way I'm going to get killed at any point doing all this. Am I letting me just scavenge all this shit first, though? Hang on, I gotta go back to the car. My car is quite literally going to be cut in half any minute now. Fuck off. Dude. I am going to use this first aid kit. Clear out some space. Fuck off. Stop. Okay. I think I'm, uh, the spot's a little too hot, guys. I think it's time to go. <laughs> guys, I don't say this a lot, but I think this spot's a little too much for me. Can I get to my car, you guys? There's a fucking flash mob. No, 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 Let me in the car. Let me in, let me, just let me in the car. Just let me back in my car. Do not pull it into the saw blades, asshole. One of my doors is open. I think it's my trunk, but I don't want to get out to fix it right now because of the issues that have been happening. Also, I'm grabbing this piss particle. There's a huge 
gigantic piss particle over here. There's people worshipping it, as if it were a god. An idol of sick fascination. Is that buzzsaw coming for me? No? Okay. Let's go. Why? 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 Why did I do that out of order? <laughs> Note to self, turn on car before you turn off parking brake. That's like common sense. My car! Let's get the fuck out of here. My car! It's fucked! I blew it up, dude. Frick. Mommy's gonna be so mad. Uh, let's see. I want to go. I have to go that way to actually hit the observation. I'm guessing I still have to leave afterwards myself. So I'm not going to go to town to loot until after I've done the observation quest. I'll probably repair my car a little bit while I'm there. Hang on now. One thing. One more thing. One more thing. I see a clothes trunk. I loot it. We need flashlights, and since we... Hang on, I'm actually gonna also do this, because he's a steal. He's a real steal. I'm gonna take all the scrap. Do you need it? Huge. God dang huge. Immense amounts of treasure obtained. What the... Do I have a spare? I do. Perfect. I knew I packed. Dude. I mean, we're gonna have plenty of scrap metal. We really are. And, uh, that's good for me. Oh, yeah, like, actually, like, si ow! Fucking, like, 60 scrap metal. That's huge. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I just started rolling back again because I don't know how to fucking drive. <laughs> I just don't know how to drive. Oh, look at how filled up the piss meter is, guys. God damn, this car is full of almost completely piss. Absolutely insane. It is sloshing around. All right, we're taking this turn to the observation tower. Unfortunately, it's foggy, guys, so you might not be able to see the murder black hole that is uh, in the distance, but you can imagine it. You can't, though. No, no, chat, this one's actually really easy. Because it's black, and it's just like kind of like a horrible orb of death in the distance, I can close my eyes and see the exact same thing, because I don't see anything at all. I'm actually really good at imagining perfect void. Just absolute nothing. I'm good at that. The towers are locked up tight, but you can tighten up security protocols all day, only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway... The overload code is 4735. Okay. Man, I almost hit that person. <laughs> that fucker almost died. Oh, boy. That was a sign to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping watch of Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. Guys, look. We can see it. That's it. Colossal Cappy. Even now you can see it all the way over here, the orb. Colossal Cappy. What the fuck? Hey, you guys, uh, I forgot the code. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> 
sorry, I was distracted looking at Colossal Cappy, and uh, I might have forgotten the code. <laughs> Anyone uh, radio back? Radio back? Toppy? Tobias? Radio back? Okay, and then I guess I'll just start kind of... Oh, sorry guys. I actually knew it. Uh, I didn't even have to punch it in manually. This game just automatically did it for me. Boy, do I have some egg on my face. I'm gonna hang up. They hate me. They hate me, guys. They hate me. They hate me. Not one of them even said anything. They were just fucking cringing. Oh my god. Uh... Well, the stabilizer records are right here. There we go. Perfect. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. Wait a minute. Blueprints. Where's my to-do list? There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not there too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Wait, what? I'm not... I'm not... I, well, I, I was expecting to leave now. Okay, I'm going to the next junction, guys. I guess we're not done with this quest. I, I thought I was going to be heading back. I was all ready to, like... Upgrade my shit. Well, you know what I am gonna do? I'm 50% on fuel. Let's, uh... Fill up the tank. As much as we can. Probably stop at, like, uh, three-fourths or so. Oh! That was actually quite more than I was expecting. Okay. Uh, I wanna check for damages here. Cause some of my rear end was freaking vaporized when I got exploded by all those maniacs. So I'm gonna grab some of the goo. Fix up some of the vehicle before I continue on the drive. God forbid these panels broke. You know what I mean? God forbid I get rear-ended by some asshole out here. Don't want to take any chances. You never know when you might run into one even out on the west coast. Gotta make sure the steel paneling on my jalopy stays together now. Yep, slap some more goop on it and it'll be good as new, right as rain. Now if only I could catch whoever stole my front headlight. Alright, let's go. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, that's so convenient! I love that. Alright, we'll grab the piss particle on our way. That's actually huge for me. But my batteries aren't doing great. I'm a little worried about that. I'm gonna have to be a little careful. I like how this game gave me the upgrade for handbrakes, and there's not a single way in a million years I'm ever gonna press the handbrake button in this fucking video game, where my vehicle actually slides around like it's fucking completely covered in butter. <laughs> like, my car is buttered up. Alright, it's been buttered up this whole time. This thing is crazy. I would never press the fucking handbrake. I can beat it! Huge. Only managed to get by that thing because of all the butter. Dude, I love shortcuts, and that's why I'm taking a straight line. No, I've fucking not. What are you crazy? <laughs> Hang on, I've talked myself out of it. No, follow the fucking road the extra 15 seconds, because you don't even know if you're gonna have the right elevation to connect the other side. What are you stupid? Are you dumb? Alright. I definitely could have just gone uh, across, but it's okay. There's not really any good indicators out here. There's no street lights. Uh, we need to take this turn to go down to town. Making good time. Making damn good time. We should be able to see town at the end of this road. Get a little bit more looting in. Am I being tailed? 
by an abductor. Handbreak it! Stir! That did nothing for me. <laughs> that did that did nothing for me. I don't even know if that even activated. My car's acting a little weird sometimes. It's uh, not exactly. We gotta get the fuck out of here! Hang on to something! Oh fuck! Not the cliff! You fucking asshole! Dude. See, there's only one unrealistic thing about this game, is that it's set in America, and I'm not allowed to lean out the fucking driver's side door of my car and gun that thing down. What the hell? I'm not allowed to pull out my shotgun and blow that thing away? Well, at least we're here. I should check for damages. I'll pull into this. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna pull into anything. I think most of my inventory is actually full. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, simply go grab the piss particle and repair at the piss particle before I pick it up. Piss particle's got some bullshit going on today. Uh, <laughs> okay. And there's people here. I'm gonna turn on the headlights so I can at least see a little bit better while I go around them. I'm just gonna go ahead and park the car here away from the piss particle and uh, take the radiation damage. Actually. Uh, so I'm gonna repair right here. Piss particle is such a cursed name. Don't make it yellow. Don't make it yellow. You don't want me to call it that? Don't make it yellow. All right, devs, take notes. Don't, don't make it yellow. Don't make it the color of piss and I won't name it that. All right. Where's my slime? Where the hell is my slime? Am I gonna have to craft more fucking slime? Wow, I'm lucky I had the chemicals for that. Someone, one of the goddamn teenagers that lives in this town must have opened the trunk of my car while I was in the frickin' watchtower and stole all the slime I used to patch up the steel paneling of my jalopy. <laughs> that wasn't words. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's my nasty guy voice. Dude, that's my nasty guy voice. It made total sense. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna leave the car on when I do this part. Um, specifically because uh, I think I might need to bug out instantaneously once I arrive. Uh, at the car with this particle. Get the weird feeling every single time you pick up one of these things, activate some anomalies. Whoa! That was fun. I thought that was gonna blow me up and kill me, but instead it just kind of bounced me. Again! Again! Whee! The orb! I've collected the porp. We need to get the hell out of here. Is the piss canister full? It is close to maximum capacity. It's time to drive. Straight lining it. Whee! The car hated that. Oh, it hated that. Whatever, man. Who asked you? What a fucking miserable piece of shit day today has been for me. God fucking dead. I pulled the parking brake! I pulled it! Get off of my car! I'm on the line, dude. I gotta... Die! I gotta get off the line! I'm on the line! Ooh! 
Whoa. It turned on the scary music. I'm gonna stop by these houses to lick my wounds. After that attack, that vicious attack. This uh, farmland will do good. I can repair some of my vehicles here at the farm. Yep. Thank God I still have some slop to throw onto the cracked up boards of my car. Thank God I still got this bucket full of white slime to slop onto the car. Don't call it that. I'm calling it exactly how it looks. I'm sorry, do you have a perverted mind, you fucking sicko? Wait a minute, guys. I think that chat member might be a sicko. Wait. Guys, is it bad that what I saw wasn't like a potion or something like exploding? I saw two green balls and a cock with two fists reaching towards the heaven. Is what I saw. Man, something's up. <laughs> Guys, I think I, I think I breathed in some of the particles uh, that we've been traveling through. I knew I told everyone to hold their breath, but I had to breathe fully so I could actually drive. I don't feel so good. The car is changing him. For the better. All right, there's just some unfortunate side effects. Who gave you permission to play this song? Turn it off. Man, you know, I really should have put the frickin' country song on. I should have put that one song on, you know? What the fuck, I like that song? I just need absolute silence while I dial in on the final leg of our journey. Guys, we are deeply wounded. Our car is not doing well. Look at how much it's sliding. It should be sliding more. We need to butter it again. Everyone, pull out the sticks of butter I told you all to pack for occasions like this. We're gonna have to butter up the tires again before we move on. This isn't the right way. That is not the path. But butter melts. Less thinking, more actually buttering. And we are gonna reload our uh, car with gas here. Time to fuel up. And also fuel up the tank. Yep. And now I'm gonna check inside the gas station. I don't like that. Soup. Hey, they got soup here. And beans. All right. Big cabinet with mostly garbage, big crate. Better things actually helpful. Not really much else in here. Kind of, uh. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, someone already looted the whole dumpster! Wait, there's this one. Friendly dumpster! Oh! <gasps> Friend!
heal. Thank you. The friendly dumpster made a new freaking friend for me. Do we need to put it on the bumper for it to heal the bumper? Nope, it's getting there. Guys, I feel safe enough in this moment that I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna head on inside the gas station and take a well-earned piss. You guys watch the car, all right, and pick out some snacks you wanna buy. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Did that asshole hurt our friend? Get down from there! Mm. Hang on, let me put this steel sheet away. Yup. Alright guys. Best thing we can do is simply pretend that didn't happen and leave. So come on. We are gonna go around that freak. Go well, bye. But our friend, guys, you don't understand. They weren't really my friend, I was just using them. Sorry, I guess I should have said that better. Though it is truthful. I, I was just using them for my own game. Mm -hmm. How about how about we turn on some tunes? Yeah, this is sad. Well, how about I change it to a happy song? This isn't any happier. Well, how about we listen to... Uh, 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 Hope you enjoy. Uh? Here we go. Here we go. Let's roll. We have a stabilizer artist site six hours away. We should keep our wits about us, guys. This place is in the blistering woods. <laughs> This is a long ass road trip. This one's been a bit. This one's been a bit, man. This one's been a bit of a walk. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Okay. 
Well, chat, we have a simple job. We simply have to connect all the stabilizers. Now, I think the best one to do first is the one to the north. And it's fucking raining. God, I hate my fucking life sometimes, man. Of course it's raining. It's my turn to give you an explanation. Look at how fucking About bad my buttered up tires are. I'm not getting any traction. I'm barely driving this. Because there honestly is much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was uh -huh. assisted by my Hang on, I have to fucking haul the handbrakes on my car so this asshole doesn't fucking drag me halfway across the map. Let me go! Sorry, Abby. Let me go! Orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a ten-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Oh my god. A burst of widespread insanity. Is my- wait a minute. No, 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 no. Okay, my headlights are still working. I need to get out of my car for a second to see if I can fix it. They are in the red. I need- I gotta get some more repair slime and fix up my car. Right now. Guys, I don't have the chemicals required to make repair slime. If that headlight breaks, it's over. Which is why I'm actually gonna rip it out of the car. Because I don't need it right now. Alright, as long as it's in my hand, it won't break anymore. So when the sun sets, I'll put it back on the car. This is how I power game. Hard. Let's go. We are going straight ahead to the first artist site. Stabilizer Alpha. Must be that tower. Guess I'm just following these pipes, like they said. We should be okay, aside from how fucking horrible the weather is. Aside from that, it should be fine. We're gonna try to get this done as fast as we can now, because I have no inventory space left. I'm actually kind of full. Okay, this is definitely the easiest one to get to. After this, is gonna get a little complicated. We're driving to our doom. What makes you say that? I could road- I could like walk this whole thing, guys. I could just walk. I don't need the car. I don't need the car. Here we are. Stabilizer one. Park it. How the fuck do I get in here? Oh. Oh. Uh, hang on. Cool flare. Anything else in here before I grab this that I might want, just in case. Hang on. Scanned the building. Uh, it's gonna kill me. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel short when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of sand sing? I saw disembodied arms. I, my vision was I saw arms everywhere. And, uh, what about you, Oppie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. I was surrounded by a lot of hogs. All right. I was stuck in that fucking nightmare for the next 18 years inside of a, an instant hallucination. I was surrounded by hogs. Why the hell did my why the hell did my hallucination just make hogs? Grab all this crap. Yet the weird feeling lead shielding is going to be pretty helpful to me in, uh, 
the construction of my uh, car. Inventory full, but I need those light bulbs. Hang on a second. I'll get to the bottom of this. But I need those bulbs. All right, next destination, let's go. Next spot on our list. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination. He's gonna be taking this road it. down south oh, to hit boy, that oh, one. Boy, do I have theories. <sighs> Don't start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using limb to motivate that I get this weird rest. feeling this is gonna be a hard road for me to navigate. Yes, is it this one? Where do gamma rays come from? But it is this one. Okay. Space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. Oh my god. Guys, all of this was caused by aliens. You heard it. No, 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 no. You, you said it yourself. I should the really grab all that lead. That I'm grabbing this lead, dude. I've never seen lead in this game like this before. I'm grabbing all of it. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly... It's aliens! Nah, I'm with them. It's aliens. It's fucking aliens! What, why, why are we even still arguing about this? That sound like aliens. To where exactly? To Atlantis. Yep, it's aliens from Atlantis. Listen, I'm not an idiot. I think I know a thing or two about aliens, and I'll tell you what. Aliens, A, Atlantis, A, Anomaly, A. I'm not a big fan of whatever that sound is, but I will vacuum up all this lead. I'm someone else's spook. I make horrible sounds in the distance just like they are. Dude, this is an insane amount of fucking treasure, man. Jesus. All right. Mother of God! Look at all this. Why does my car keep jostling? You alive? Hey. Hey. If you're alive, you have to say something. Alright, let's go. Following this road straight along till we hit the main road, then we're taking another dirt road. Ugh, creatures. Horrible creatures. Hey! Well, this is good, actually. I Actually, this will fix my fucking uh, batteries. If it wasn't damaging my fucking car, that is. I know there's one still on me. I need to pull away from the others first. Get the fuck off the car! And die! My fucking steel paneling! I'm all out of slime to fix it, too. That's the worst part. I need chemicals for that. Is that more of them?
Oh no, that's like an electrical relay. Slimeless. Yeah, this car's uh, seen better days this time, but um... Look, uh, we're making a lot of gains. We get back from this alive. So I'm just gonna try to stay focused. And maybe I won't run into any more bullshit. It's been a long fucking trip. It's gonna be worth it when we get out of here. I still got this full tank. I fucking hate these assholes, I really do. This goon is pissing me the fuck off. So die. So die, then. I just need some chemicals. If I had some chemicals, I can make more repair putty and all this would be taken care of. That door is fucked any minute now. That's the worst part. Okay, so I want to take this turn. And follow the line afterwards. This lane right here. And follow it up to the tower. Good news is, while this is a lot of yellows and reds, none of it is conveying anything that's really immediately dangerous. It's a lot of armor and door breaking. My engine is okay. My battery and fuel are still looking good. The most important parts, and like the wheels, all those things are doing okay. The problem is I keep getting jumped from the, by these fucking assholes. Fuck off. Dude, I can't even fucking reach him! Fuck off! Get off the car! I'm not sure what the best solution is for these guys either, that's the worst part. Other than me just walking up and killing them. They just blast my wheels off or did this create more wheels? Where the fuck did these mint condition spare tires all come from? A pile of tires. Okay, I'm gonna kill this thing. As soon as I make another one of my fucking crafting wheels. Scrapper, craft it. Seems like if you hit it once, it gets like inert and stops working. Dude, I'm just gonna go. My whole deal is so fucked up. But my batteries are good. But my my steering is uh, a little bit uh, suffering. Wheels is still good. Body's fucked, but the wheels and things are great. I don't know how to unelectrically charge my whole deal, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Pretend there's not a problem. I'll try to see if there's something I can do for the car once we get it to the, uh... Once we get to the next tower. God, it's such a long fucking trip still, guys. I'm getting worried. I'm getting a little worried about the about the ride. To be honest. Is it possible... ...to make some slime? I would need chemicals. We don't have chemicals. I can, however, replace my bumpers. The front bumper is fucked. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off. And I'm gonna litter. Pick up this new one. And install it. We're just gonna slowly and methodically... Oh, I can actually make uh, replacement headlights too, that's good. Can also replace my doors with crude doors if they break. I've got boatloads of materials to replace things. I'm just trying to save. I'm just trying to save my freaking money. I don't like that sound. Every single time I hear it, it makes me all kinds of worried. Tower two done. Hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone's stories and superstitions. 
So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you, so yes, it's our business now. How about this? You two Huge amounts of gear from this place, chat. Going to fucking vacuum all this up. Wait, what are they arguing sure. about? And I'll send you a nice gift basket. Oh, she wants my car. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Wait, does she want my car? Wait a minute, does she want Were they just talking about wanting my car? To my car didn't that, like that. We need to throw everything we can into this. Abby, I'm going to have to interrupt. My car jostled when they thought about you having them. I don't think they like that. This isn't like one of your little sass. They got distressed. You're not coming near it. They got distressed when they thought you were going to go near them. The car's not happy. Too important earlier when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. I have a name. You want to play that game? I, I have a name. You want to talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppy. Whoa. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Hi, I'm the one driving. <laughs> Hi, guys, it's me. The person driving the car. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna drive it into anything, but it is almost destroyed. Without them, trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. This really is my last chance. The car jostled. Oppy, they hate you. The, the car fucking hates you. They really don't like you. I think they like Tobias. I think they like Tobias more. I don't think they want to hang out with you, Oppy. The car's agitated. Back to vacuuming. Inventory full. Dude, I'm running out of space, guys. It's bad. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the headlight back in. I'm also gonna get rid of this gear. This is trash. I can just drop this because I can immediately get more. Uh, the circuit board? God, these are big. Black paint, too. God, I got so much just fucking stuff. The canned food. We're gonna ditch. We're gonna eat some of it and then I'm gonna ditch the rest because I have healing. I don't really need it. Drop the rest. This is all such insane games that the idea of not taking all this shit is blasphemous to me. Like this lead and stuff is absolutely higher tier shit for like making better like panels for the car. I'm not gonna leave it all here. This is all coming with me. I don't care how sick carrying all this lead around makes me. I want it! All this yummy lead is mine! I'm gonna put the headlight back in the front to clear out some more space, because I now know I can make replacements. Put it back. Pick up the cans again, because I'm gonna eat one more. And now I'm gonna try to just coast with what I have for the last leg of this fucking trip. Which is to Get back to the road the way I came, and then follow the main one. God, this sucks. Or I take a straight line. Hang on, I'm gonna do something ridiculous and really dangerous considering the quality of my vehicle. That's the last tower I need to go to. I can't straight line the whole thing, but if this isn't actually that big of an incline, I'd be willing to hold e-brake and descend down this hill back to the main road. It is just a hill is the thing. It is just a hill. 
This is doable. I'm going to do it. Sometimes you just gotta believe in yourself and me, well, huh. I've got a lot of belief in myself. Check this out. Easy. Easy. It looks bad, but it's just a hill, guys. E-brake, activate! E-brake! We just gotta shred the hill! Easy! Immense amounts of time just saved. Holy shit. Alright, let's roll. We're taking the next dirt road and then we're moving on to the last tower. Straight ahead. Right here. Yeah, I gamed. Yeah, I mean, I think some of you might have just caught that there. But if you really paid attention, you would have noticed, ah, I kind of game. This car sucks eggs so bad. <laughs> and I th I'm gonna be honest. Uh, guys, don't tell the car I said this. I think it might have sucked the whole time. Even before this trip. And frankly, I think I hate it. Don't tell him I said that. Look at how poorly it just descended that incline. Wait a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There might actually be a hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Mint condition, you suck! This car's just trash! I thought maybe the car's engine was fucked. No! Was that? Was the name of that fucking achievement? Driver's Ed Dropout. Forgot to put the car in drive before hitting the gas 20 times. Why is my interior dash light on again? Check how many people have that. It won't show me an accurate number right now because this game is still not available publicly. So currently, it may be just me. Who knows? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, hey, this last little trip of the part of the drive's been pretty okay. A little bit worried about the exit path, currently. I think I'm a little too close to the exit. I actually am, I'm way too close. There it is, last objective tower. An insane haul. We're gonna have to spend a lot of resources repairing our car when we get back. God forbid we don't have chemicals. Oh shit, I actually haven't thought about that. If we don't have chemicals, we're fucked. That's bad. A little worrying. Let's hit the last thing first. I don't think I'm gonna loot this last lead thing because I actually don't have the space. This time for real, there is no more space left, really. Oh, what I the fuck? We're in business. The stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear. Where'd those come from? Also getting spikes. That stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. What? Fast. No, 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 I can't be. Ain't no way. No, I'm fucked. It's over. There's no way I live. I have to go to the other side of the whole map, it just killed me. I have to actually straight line it through the fucking woods. To even have a chance. There's not a way in a million fucking years I'm making it. It is straight up over. I can't believe it just did that to me. Yep. I mean, that was my own bad, but it's genuinely over. I, I will not be able to make it. Look at how fast it's going. Why did it put it that far away? 
There's no way I would have ever made it in a million years. That sucks. Nah, this is a giant fucking mountain. I have to take the main road. I have to take the main road, which means going into like the death stability that I'm about to run into right here. I don't think it's possible, chat. Unless I drive actually perfectly right now. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if there's nothing in the road. Maybe. It's actually maybe possible. Hang on. It might not be over. But that's gonna really fuck me if I don't get around it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dude, if those things actually fuck with me, I'm dead. I dodged it. Dodged it! We got around him! Oh! We got one chance. Straight line. Are you kidding me? Halt! Woo! Are those fuckers still chasing me? We may just make it. But I think that I would have appreciated a little bit of a clearer indicator of that was an exit condition, because I would have positioned myself wiser. Maybe I just missed it the first time that they explained that to me. But, um... That would have been a devastating loss. They should probably convey it better. Unless I, unless I just missed it 15 times. Jesus. Fuck. Nice work out there. I live. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Shut up. I got this. Did you see how I escaped that fucking zone after fucking throwing myself off a cliff? I'm a- I'm really good. My car is completely mangled beyond all repair. We're gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> This might take a while, guys. This car is fucked. I also think it might be heavy. Like, I don't know if, like, it having a bunch of stuff in the trunk actually, like, contributes to its weight, but it's, like, jostling around a lot more. Okay, well, um... Transfer everything. I don't have, like, a storage box. All I have is this, which is now full. So I think first things first, I'm going to... Wow, my health was low by the end, too. Have you found the friendly dumpster yet? It's behind the shop. Huh? Reverend Dionide paid a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. Give me something good. Headlights! My entire car! Wait, this is all crude. This is trash. Toss it out. It's all trash. It's a dumpster. Those are gifts. She won't see me reselling them or re-gifting them. Wait, where's all the... Wait a minute. Literally worth nothing. Pathetic. No value. No value. The only thing of value is the headlight, because I actually am missing a second headlight. 
That is a- Oh! This car sucks. This car is trash. It's fucking garbage. <laughs> I'd rather fucking die. I would have rather that piss wave absolutely rip me to shreds than spend one second driving around in that. Jesus. All right. Time to get some real upgrades. I got five stable energy. It's time to fucking capitalize. Big time. Now, first thing first, I would like to, oh wow, it's actually kind of hard to fucking pick what to make in this game. Lead plated panels sound pretty good, um, which means I need lead scan shielding. I don't know where that is. Uh, I also want to learn how to make summer tires, that's first. Learn tires. We don't have real tires being made yet, and we're still using spares. So let's upgrade everything that makes our car normal first before we worry about any up, uh, any other stuff. Um, let's see your car storage? No, not yet. Large fuel can. We've been fine on fuel. Uh, limb pulse emitter. This is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro, electro organic entities to hold on or harm the vehicle. I am going to immediately get this because I think the most obnoxious thing that's happened in this game so far is those electrical rabbit things. Uh, that we're getting that. We're gonna get the blueprint to make that. Those. Those things suck. Uh, I think I need to get a side rack researched in order to actually add the emitter. So I'm gonna have that built. One side rack installed. Boom. Lights. I'd like real headlights on both sides. I want all the real stuff. I want to move off of crude. Uh, next up is bumper. Steel bumper. Learn that too. Wheels is good. Expansion rack is good. Car storage is fine. Can I get more storage at the base? Expanded locker. I would need to get six steel sheets, which is super doable. Okay. I'm gonna make the expanded locker. Where does this go? Ah, you can just expand any locker. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put it here next to the um next to the gas. Huge. There we go. Now we got a place to actually put all of our shit. Could take a minute, but uh, way better storage than what I've been working with. And we can expand it more. So, yeah, big, big upgrade for not that much cost. Uh, let's put the paint away. I have some more back here as well still. God, there's a lot of stuff. Jesus. That was a huge haul as far as like supplies is concerned. We pulled an insane amount of crap. Put that in there. Do decals, decals go here. Hang on, I wanna actually grab this thing if I can find where it is. Where is this? Where's the thing I just got? Lyca the space was that a did I get a second Lyca the space pup? No, I have Egan's mix. Okay, it was that it was that mixtape. Okay, can I craft slime? I really need slime. How much chemical do I have? 18. One slime. 
two. We're gonna need three of these. I'm actually probably gonna need more as well. I'm gonna need extra. Let's repair all my shit. We're gonna replace the bumpers with real ones now. We're gonna get real bumpers. But we lived! A lot of people didn't think we would. But we did. Is that gonna full heal? Good. Alright, so no matter what, this is a full heal on the supplies. Is this broken, broken? The car's happy. Breaking. Fix repair putty. Yep. The car is happy or in agony. It's hard to tell. I should take this off. Because we're gonna try we're gonna trash it. I'm on a litter. We don't need that garbage and we don't get anything out of it because it was given to us from the freaking dumpster. What's up with the class? I need something for this. Uh, what's wrong? Ceiling kit. I have those. There we go. I gotta make a spare one of these. <laughs> Boom. Okay, I'm gonna make... Uh, let's see. Uh, one more ceiling kit. And another... To repair putty. We're gonna need these a lot. Uh, after that last trip, definitely pretty sure those are expensive and also helpful. So, uh, I'm probably unlikely I'm gonna find them out in the wild. Okay. Nope, don't repair this. Uh, we're gonna uninstall this. Also gonna litter this. <gasps> These crude bumpers are done. We are replacing them with real bumpers now. Actually, this one wasn't gifted to me. Break that. Give me that back. Get a little bit of extra scrap. No problem with that. Little bit of extra treasure never hurt anybody. Alright. Two bumpers. Two bumpers. Steel bumper. Lots of rubber, lots of steel sheets. Oh, bam. Place. Look at the size of that fucking bumper! My god! Holy shit! Let's make the fucking headlights next. Did I already unlock the better headlights? I do. Okay. Headlight. Stop. I mean, guys. This thing's slightly damaged and it's pissing me the fuck off, but I'm not gonna repair it because it'll just waste a whole use of my thing. Okay, what wheels do I have that aren't summer tire? One summer tire here. Fully repair. Spare in the back. Summer tire, spare. Don't repair the spares. We're gonna take these off. We need to make two summer tires. Which we can afford. As soon as I craft another gear. Trash. I keep forgetting I have the fucking deconstruction thing. Oh well. Next one. This one will go into the deconstruction. Yeah, definitely better resources. I should remember to do that. Oh my fucking god. Where's the last time?
How is this bad boy looking now? So I'm a little bit of damage on the front here with this headlight. It's not displaying any more damage. I'm gonna heal this. I'm gonna heal these last two spots because it's actually just gonna drive me crazy. Wait, what's what's with the X? Fragile. Does that mean it got busted enough that it's gonna recognize? It's not gonna recognize like its full durability anymore. Mm. I don't settle for trash on my vehicle, man. I don't care if I just spent resources trying to repair it. It's garbage now. It actually just gave me enough to just make a replacement full steel panel. So, uh, I guess I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Well, almost. It almost did. It gave me a pretty good amount. Damn! Now I'm gonna make that limb protector. Limb pulse emitter. Let's get this thing plugged in on the side. Right? Where's this? Where's this? Fuck does this go? Is this a bumper? Does this go on the bumper? Wait. It looks like a bumper. Huh! Damn! Oh. Okay, then you are just gonna be spare for now. I'll keep you over there. So could I do that on the back as well? That's cool. All right, so I'm still working with another 1.5 stable energy. Which means uh, I could get an outfitting station for myself. Matter regenerator, ingenious limb technology and advanced spectro mechanical acoustics I used to repair car parts stored in the station while you're out on a drive. It's cool. Uh, fax machine. This is like a bunch of cosmetic bonus things. Probably not priority. Flashlight. Flashlight is priority. Relightable flare. Learn that first. We need lights. And then a crude flashlight. I... Oh, it uses unstable energy. Okay, so I need different things now. Well, then with the last 1.1 I have, can I afford... Lead-plated panels? Which means... Oh, no, I can't if I need, um... Scan-lead shielding. I don't know where scan-lead shielding is. I don't see that. It may be in the scanning, maybe in the utilities. Jump packs, auto parker, where is... Huh? Wildly confused where this is. It, it sh the one thing I think this game desperately needs in its menus, and I know I also said it on my first stream, if I'm looking at something, it says it needs... Oh, oh, I need to scan it in game. It's not an item. Okay. I still do think this applies in that, like, uh, if there is a prerequisite somewhere, it should automatically take me to it or explain it a little bit more easily. I thought that it was explaining, hey, I need an upgrade to scan lead shielding, and the only way to actually get this is to get that upgrade first. I think that's a little bit, I think that needs to be conveyed a little easier. Um, okay, so I have to scan that. I, that sucks, because I actually saw lead shielding, and I just never scanned it. Okay, I need to remember to scan things I haven't scanned from now on, because, uh, yeah, could have done that already. Uh, well, I want to get some side storage, um, for the car. I want to build side storage, because I got that fucking expansion for the side. Gonna make one of those. Hell yes, man. Hell yes.
Absolutely gigantic. Now where the hell am I going? Let's see, if I want to get in to the next place. Find a way into the wall. Well, that's the thing, is that I'm looking at this spot here, and it looks... Trying to figure out how to pay me a visit? Don't bother. By regular standards, I'm about 10 miles west of you. In zone terms... Actually, that's not what I was planet, doing. There's a valley of perpetual instability in closing my corner of the zone, and yes, I chose to live here for that exact reason. <sighs> Leave an old woman in peace. I was not planning on visiting. Alright, you old bag. I was specifically trying to figure out how to get to the next objective. I'm gonna hang up. Fucking hell. Alright guys, so what I'm thinking is we go to this place. JCTG1. It's got maximum anomalous activity, but the thing is... Okay. It's also closest to my destination. I see this spot right here. There may be a way to connect. We basically have to chart out all these zones now to try to find a way through, so... I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it, man. Which means we need to grab some supplies. We got plenty of repair putty. Um, i deposit the rest of this quick. Go. Gonna make another replacement tool or two. And also make the relightable flare. Scrapper. Make a second one. Can't make any... Wait a minute. Oh, it's because I'm missing the gas cylinder. Okay. Can't make a new impact hammer, though I don't need to. My impact hammer is really, really good on durability. Saw. In. And this is my new tool. Huge. Awesome. Let's fucking ride. Come on. Hello, Tomato. I'm writing to you in today in hopes of receiving a key. This message has been pre-typed and will be reposted every eight minutes. Please consider me for the giveaway. Thanks. Have a good day. Frick. Respectfully. Parentheses. Automated message sent for my BlackBerry at 3.26 p.m. PST. From your fucking BlackBerry? Jesus Christ, Grandpa. Guys. There's something wrong with the key to my car, and I don't know how to... Oh. Is that what's ca There's like... My car's got some kind of physics lag going on, guys. Weird. Weird. Headlights are working. Oh my god, this car is working a thousand times better than it used to. Holy shit. Right, let's get some fucking traveling done. We have already actually explored G18, which makes me more compelled to explore this one. Considering this one actually said it has angry abductors. Maybe JCTE7 will connect where I want to go. Or I'll die. It's chance. Let's take a chance. Guys. Bad news. It does not. But it looks like I can actually come back the way I came. Wait, is that possible? I mean, I'm here for the stabilization. That's what I'm actually here for. I just want to pick up the yellow and uh, keep getting upgrades. Yeah. Block. Block. Okay. Well, this place is explored now, which is important. We do need to get that done. So, uh, this may be connected next time we do this. The Octobice needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Arc device until it's satisfied. And I know how, how the Arc device works, Oppy. How many times do I have to tell you this? What do you think? I'm some kind of fool? A nincompoop, if you will? 
They just don't understand that I'm a freaking genius. I already know how the ARC device works. All right, Appy, I'm gonna tell you what I learned about how to use the ARC device after you never taught me how to use it. So I just kind of pee into the freaking bottle at the top until it's full up, and then I just kind of turn it on, and it's worked every single time, which means I think I don't actually need to spend so much time wandering around the woods looking for orbs and stuff, because you can just go to the bathroom in it, and it works. Appy? Appy? <laughs> Appy? Hello? Are you still there? Are you still there? Hang on, I, could, I should probably... Disable this tower before I just drive through it to get to the orb. Die! 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 I'm getting a lot of log books telling me to survive. Don't know what's going on with that. Where's the piss orb? Somewhere over there. God, my car looks a lot better nowadays. Jeez. Oh. Is that radiation? That's radiation in the air. Not much we can do about that, though. Let's go. Straight line takes us to the first of the two orbs. We gotta get both of them to leave. Thank God I upgraded my uh, bumper with a bumper that's probably no more tanky than my normal one. Bingo. Let's fucking get it. Let's go. Or that abductor fucking gets me. This fucking asshole is about to ruin my whole night. Oh, he stopped. We're cool, guys. We're cool. This fucking asshole's really about to do it a second time. Who put the guardrail here? To guard it from who, dude? Why is this here? Let me back on the road. Miserable. Why does this map claim there's a house here? There's no house here, unless it's talking about the tower. Oh, there is a house here. The hell? Oh, my flashlight! Fuck! No! I dropped it because I got scared of the sounds I was hearing, and then I saw this spooky guy, but it's just a sheeple. Give me what I need. Fuck. Nothing of value. TV gone. Computer shred it too. Vacuum all of it up. Flashlight. Okay. Boom. Perfect. My PC! You don't fucking live there. We both know that, alright? We both know that's not true. Did I accidentally put diesel in my fucking car? Oh shit. That's how you ruin a perfectly good vehicle. I'm fucked.
think I'm just gonna push through this. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and push through that one. After it annihilated the whole front of my fucking car. God, I hate that. Horrible day. Terrible. Grab some more supplies. Up here. The fog's really coming in now. I will, uh, repair some of the front here. God, it really fucked up the front of my car. Jesus. Nothing but a radio. Nothing but a radio. Oh, today I learned you can actually eat the canned food. Oh, a pearl. Dumpster pearl. Our time is now. immediately paid off this entire trip. Ow! What's wrong with my car? It's not on. It's not on. What's wrong with it was that the ignition wasn't turned on. What's the matter with this piece of trash? Guys, stop laughing at me or I swear to God, I'll slam the freaking trunk of my car on my head another 80 times until someone pays money or I have to freaking, or I have to freaking reset the run, dude. I swear to God, I will. I swear to God, I'll climb back out there and start bonking my head till someone makes me stop, dude. I will stoop that low. His interior light is- Shut- Stop laughing at me! It turned on automatically, alright? There's an anomaly! See? There's an anomalous activity happening that's causing the freaking interior light on my car to turn on! Omega Lull sent from my iPhone 2. That guy's coming at us from freaking 2007, guys. Jesus. There's an orb in the distance. My fucking car! It's fine. I'm stopping by this tower though. And I'm gonna, then I'm gonna do some repairs. Wow, this tower seems safe. Yeah, I'm going in it. Okay. Okay. Ugh, it's one of these. Red paint. I already have red paint. Also locked. Chemicals. I need that to make more putty. What does that make? Glass shards into electronics. Oh! Oh, that's just... Guys, I swear to God, when I was turning this corner, I thought this was an arm. Like one of the mannequins. Ugh. Let's just get up this hill and try to grab what I need. be able to see the frickin' pillar from up here. That is if there wasn't a death storm coming in. 
It's one of those storms where you're like, I don't really think the wiper is even gonna really help. <laughs> I don't think the wipers help here. It's the big one! We gotta go! This whole county's gonna get blown away! I'm gonna hit the road, and then we're gonna drive the hell out of this place. Oh my fucking god! It was a real good time to get off the main road. Tell you what. It's a twister! Wait, no, that's just fog. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna hit the main road, and then we're gonna go. No one panic. We're gonna go home. This was a small run to collect some, just a little bit of, just a little bit of gear. It's all a small little prep run. I'd like to leave now. Thank you. Let's fucking roll. Beautiful day for it, but we're storming my entire life. Just absolutely awful, miserable fucking day all around. Run, dude, run! Yeah, I know. The fuck? I forgot about the guardrail! Ah! You cursed guardrail! Horrible. Now we're gonna die. I told you this would happen. Guardrails never helped anybody. And now we're all dead. This is truly it. The last day of my life. It's actually, re the storm's actually coming in really fast. It's, I, I'm not really exaggerating. I'm not feeling great about this. What just happened? What was that? There's a rock! Guys, I need to thread this needle! I'd like to leave! My fucking windshield, dude. My parents are gonna be so PO'd. No, no. The thing you saw was not Bigfoot. Never was. Never will be. Don't let Tobias and Francis fill your head with that nonsense. What did I see? Wait, what did I see? Abby, I didn't know I saw anything. What do you mean I saw Bigfoot? What did Tobias and I... What happened? Oh my god. Bigfoot is real. Guys, how's my car looking? Oh, it's fucked. Guys, my car is fucked. Oh my god. Wow, it's really awful. At least I got this pearl. Alright, let me fix it. One, two, three, four. Are we safe here? No. Guys, I actually, I actually got a secret press report on this game. If you leave the garage open after 3 a.m. in game, Bigfoot comes in and rips your head off. Just pops it right off. Like a cork. What was the thing that I just saw that was yellow? Something in here was yellow. What is it? The headlights are fucked.
Was that all of my slime? No. 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 <laughs> no. That was all of my slime. Guys, I don't have as much chemical as I felt like I should. I feel like I need to spend more time picking up chemicals so I can make more slime. All right, last thing I need to do is uh, this right here on the windshield. Patch that up. You two come with me, you're going into the back. Boom. Perfect. I'll keep doing it until someone makes me stop. I will do it again. Guys, I'm joking. You actually can't die. Believe it or not, nothing in this game can kill you. It's a secret. They don't want you to know. You actually can't die from getting clunked on the head with a freaking uh, trunk, guys. That's real. Hang on, I gotta search the dumpster. Give me treasure now. Wow. Thanks. Neato. Now this is an actual fucking pile of loot. Jesus. Yeah, the pearl made that whole trip worth it. Just for all the steel sheets. Oh my god. Mother of god. And I got the crystal. You know I'm plugging in the crystal. In the correct section. After I fuel up the car. Good. Good. Now we plug in the crystal. The crystal. Bigfoot's J.O. Crystal, says a chat member. Mods, can we please start, like, stomping down on this bullshit that I see in my chat sometimes? Can I please have someone just stop this? The healing energy from this is almost certainly not radioactive. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. That is Bigfoot's J.O. Crystal. It's fucking glowing. Ah, oh, fuck. It's real. <laughs> it comes pre-charged. Mother of God. Okay. 3.1 stable energy. You know what that means. Time to get some more upgrades. Um, I need more gas cylinders to get this. Let me see yeah, what makes sense. I can't, how do I get a hand vac if I don't actually know how to craft one? It's weird. That's strange. That uses unstable. Um, this uses stable. I'm trying to find just the best use for my, uh, current resources. Insulated bumper means I have to scan a crackling crawler anomaly. That's for lightning. Uh, I need to scan a belching barnacle anomaly to get armor. Okay, so almost everything is going to require some scanning of a special anomaly to upgrade the doors past normal steel. Wheels. Wheels I can upgrade to off-road tire. That feels really good, as well as um, the engine, if the engine can be upgraded. Four 
four fucking goddamn four? Huh. I'd rather have better wheels right now. And then save the rest for when I get back next time and then I can get the uh, better engine. But let's get upgraded wheels, dude. I can make two off-road tires. It's a lot of rubber. Now, here's what we do, Chad. We're gonna take out this spare. And just toss it on the ground, because I don't really fucking care about it. The rear tires are gonna stay summer tires, but the front ones are going to go uh, away. This front one's gonna go in the back. And these are both gonna become off road. I assume this thing is front wheel drive. Uh, I'm assuming. From the from what it is, I assume front wheel is how this thing works. I've not I've not gotten the vibe of all wheel drive from this bad boy. Assume. Look, it'll be very obvious very quickly. No, oh, these don't stack. Well, uh, this one's technically in worse condition, so we'll drop that one. We don't need to. Boom! Where the hell am I going? I really want to get here. Which means we're going to either E7 or G8. Let's roll. Let's fucking get it. I'm gonna charge up the battery one more time. Let's fucking get it. Red? What happened? Huh? Is that Red? I'm where? I don't see any notifications anymore because I don't know. Tomasina. Thank you, Tomasina. I don't have any of my notifications open because I forgot. Because I'm, I'm trash at streaming. Because <laughs> I'm trash. Thanks. Thanks. Back on the road again. Piss tanks empty. We're gonna need to fill those up on the way. J.O. Crystal charged. Extremely charged. Dangerously charged. Stop. Make me. Guys, blinking you might miss it. Squint at the bar at the top right. This place, E7, is slightly more okay than G8. Just slightly. Oh, yes. We're gonna skip all the side buildings on that outer road. We're gonna take the dirt road, grab all the piss orbs on the way, and then get the hell out of here. On to the next destination. Who's with me? You don't have a choice. So don't even bother chiming in. We are getting through that expansion wall today! Or, I hope so, because if not, damn! Politely wait for the uh, lightning to cross. Never mind. It's fine. Is that. Hang on, that's some stuff to scan. Dude, I can't see anything anymore. Whoa. Decal white stripes. What do you mean, my inventory is full? Oh! Oh! Didn't see them there. Awful. That they're just there. Just terrible that you're here. Of all places.
Goodbye. Didn't see that there, that small post. But now my bumper is fucked. And that's just really choice. This my path? Yep, we're taking this. This road makes me kind of anxious. Um, it's got those funny jumpy things. Fucking rain. Breaking them tires. I can feel it's a lot better. Wait, is that lead? No, those are lights. Oh well, we're still gonna check. Oh, give me my flashlight back. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Paint stripper. Not sure why I really care about that, but whatever. These are all already broken. Yo, suck all that up. That was it all in there? to go back on the road where the hell is the yellow should be able to start seeing the first one of them on the uh, on the left is that it right there Ugh, that is it man they're in there okay I'm gonna have to drive to them probably repair my bumper once I'm here gonna be these assholes the whole time, isn't it? Yeah? Are they going to interfere? Cool. Only time there's ever an issue is when it, um... When, like, radiation starts leaking out and, like, the bubbles... Most of the time, it's fine. Oh, perfect. I can just follow it. There we go. All right. Grab this one. on the road. Nice and clean. Only about 10% of my battery's been, oh sorry, 20% of my battery's been used. Uh, which is fine. I could technically recharge it at one of these stations. That'll take some damage. We got lots of putty right now. We got lots of slime in the car for repairs. Last. Fucker almost killed me with my own car. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's. Okay, and let me in the car. Okay, and let me in the car. And let me in my car. And let me in my. Let me in the car. Let me in the car. Just let me in the car. Let me in the car. Okay, let's go. Is that a bomb? I'm just so tired of getting owned, guys. My entire car just got fucking annihilated. My whole car just got annihilated by that thing. And all these people are just standing here. We're taking the frickin' uh, right. Yeah. place fucking sucks. You can stop at that. I think there's a gas station up ahead or something. We'll stop there. I'll see if we can pass this bad boy up a little bit. Maybe we can at least find something of value. There's a lot of tourists, so. Uh, we'll stop by this shed. Right on the side of the road. 
How bad is it? Oh my fucking god, my whole car! My car! Oh, I don't want to see it with the lights on. Dude. The amount of... The amount of violence I'm going to bring upon this realm. For what it did to my beautiful vehicle. Oh. 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 Why? Wait, why? <laughs> Wait, why? Unacceptable. Wait, why is that in there? I gotta get out of here. Use it. No. I am gonna use this. I'm gonna repair some of my vehicle. At least try... Slime. Just go ahead and slap as much of this slime onto the car as you can. The front especially. That's the part that's most vulnerable. What's wrong with this thing right now? Charged. Not sure what I can do about that. At least the tires are okay. Was that all of it? That was all of it. You know what the friendly uh, dumpster hasn't done for me? Giving me any chemicals. What the hell? Let's drive. Car's not on. It's just really hard to drive without the car being on, you know? I want to get out of here before that storm comes. Honestly, considering how bad the anomalies in this place are for my car, I'd like to leave. Oh yeah, here we are. I'm doing the transition, I'm gonna order myself some food. Yep. Perfect. We are going to the blistering woods full of gusts and gales. Okay. I, I can handle that. It's just some gusts and gales. What are you ordering? Do you want me to, like, tell you the specifics? Like, I can give you the address of the place if you want, so you can, like, fucking triangulate my- You know, I'm getting Indian. I'm getting Sog Paneer. From an Indian place that I really like. It does me some good. Okay. Gus and Gales, maximum chaos. Maximum chaos. Back roads. Blistering woods. This place sucks. This place sucks bad. And it's a dead end, guys. I got a report here saying this, in fact, is not the way to the mod to the deep zone. Which means we're just here for the kicks of it. And it is just, I mean, I mean, look at this place. Is that it? What is going on over there? What the fuck did I buy this bumper for? Get the fuck off my car! Useless garbage, dude! Fuck! Useless. It's over. Never bound the bumper to a butt. It's a fucking ability? I thought it just happened automatically. Oh. Well, good to know now. Good to know now, dude. Let's go. Guys, this storm's not going away. <laughs> I think it's permanent. <laughs> We're so fucking dead. <laughs> we have to reach some of the piss on the other side in order to leave this place. You understand? 
We got a bit of a drive. Hurricane Squall. Help, dude! No! Ooh. No! Let me live! Let me live! It's the fucking storm of the century, man! Oh! It's bad, man. It's bad. Where the fuck am I even going? I'm gonna get on like a dirt road. It's okay, we can just keep following the road. For a little bit longer, and then we have a dirt road we have to- Oh my fucking god. Activate the shield! It went away. Activate it again. It went away. Activate it a third time. Are they on it? We got rid of them. We lost them. It burned a lot of battery, though. Where's the fucking road? This sucks, eggs. Why? Why? Is that it? There should be a dirt road here to follow. We're on it now. I'm gonna go around this thing. <sighs> Guys, I know things might look dire right now, like we may not make it out of this one, but look. The J.O. Crystal is still completely saturated with charge. And as long as it glows and guides us through this dark night, maybe we'll be okay. We just have to believe. I just need more faith in the crystal. I'm not gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. It's actually starting to pick up the car, guys. I I'm gonna start driving into the wind. That might make it better. Yep. Yeah, this is good. This is ideal. I can't turn into the- I can't go up this road because of how bad the wind is, guys. Not off the cliff! Not off the fucking cliff! I have to cut the fucking headlights because I'm gonna use all my battery like this. We just have to go a little bit longer like- Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh! Get inside! It's a fucking hurricane out there! What are you doing? No, we need... Just focus on the music, guys. That's how we're gonna get through this. Right. My fucking car! My car! Hey, hey, hey. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, loser, loser. That just, I don't have time for this. We're going for the piss, we're going for the piss. The piss orb up ahead this way on the main road. Everything's gonna be fine. Listen to the music. Just listen to the music. There it is. There it is. Oh! There and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We just have to get to that in time. We just actually don't have time to get that pneumatic tube. There it is.
It's probably safe to get out of the car. I'm probably not going to get decapitated by any stray scraps of metal. Let me just... Fucking really shitty weather today. Really shitty. I have to get all the way back to the main road! And what the fuck is this thing? I'm not trying to scroll. Hang on, I want to see what that fucking thing is. Not recognized. Can I take. Pause. Can I just take the fucking train tracks? Can I just take the train tracks? I think I could take the train tracks. I don't think I don't think I can take a different path. I'm gonna take my chances on the train tracks. Come on. The fucking battery is low too, god damn it. Okay, good news is this is downhill, so I'm allowed to do this. The wind stopped. Take advantage right now. How downhill is this? Hang on. Completely livable. To music like this, of course it is. Handbrake on. Slide it down. We gotta cut some time off the fucking trip, Jet. <gasps> not under the rock, not under the rock, just not under the rock. It's too clean, man. Too fucking clean. Let's go. Let's go. Twenty percent of the battery left. We don't have time to stop at that fucking objective either. The storm's gone now. The storm's gone. We got a haul. I can, I can actually stop the car for a minute and turn it all the way off to save battery and check what this is. Hang on. Turn it all off. Might as well see what this is. Mysterious audio recorder. Okay, put it in the trunk. All right, guys. As soon as I get close enough to this thing, what the fuck is that? Whatever. Once we get to like there on the fucking road, we're gonna peel down the fucking train tracks. Okay, that's the plan. Bigfoot's mixtape. Surely not. Okay, tunnel's actually good. That means I'm gonna have a lot of cover as long as I can actually squeeze by the trains. But surely I can. Yeah, that's actually really good. This is huge. Well, we are cutting it extremely close. I'm gonna start flickering the fucking headlights. The wind is back, bro! When do I activate this? Right now. We're following the fucking road. Or the train tracks. Until we get to that fucking beam. This is it. Don't you fucking dare.
Fuck off, freak. Oh, huge time. Oh, this was perfect. Oh, yeah, this went perfect. Fortunately, when we activated this, the storm went away. So all we have to do now is vaporize ourselves in the laser beam. Huge. Right. All right, guys, come on. I lived. I made it out of there okay. No interesting thing about those anchor plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Fucking Basically, hell. they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Friendly dumpster, give me chemicals now. Are you making use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. Electronics, canned food, canned food, thermosap, crystals, and crude doors I don't fucking want. Thanks for the garbage. Worst, worst fucking birthday present I ever got, man. I'm gonna improve the antenna. Hang on. Dude, am I dumb? I keep pressing the button to do- what? Research circuit board. Okay. I'm dumb. Ow! You've made a better antenna. Take this up top, at night, in the dark. What else can I get? I feel like if I had the gas cylinders, I'd make the outfitting station, but I don't have enough. A low torch if I had the stable energy. I, I don't have enough to do the engine, but I figured that uh, upgrading the antenna was necessary for actual progression. And my engine actually doesn't feel that bad. Uh, I need to scan more things, man. Unlock a seat rack. How the hell do I do that? Side rack, side rack, seat rack. Okay. Second side rack. Cool. Did the tires make a difference? It fucking felt like it, dude. I don't feel like I could have made that run if I didn't have the tires upgraded. Definitely felt like it to me. Get a seat rack. Massive storage upgrades. Huge. Neato. Well, chat, here's a pretty good fucking stopping point for today. Um, considering I have like 40 minutes before I have to do D&D. Um, probably wouldn't have enough time to do a real run that would get anywhere near progression for story. But, uh, I had a lot of fucking fun. This game slaps. This game slaps hard. Uh, yeah, I will be back maybe tomorrow, if not Friday. I'm gonna label it as tomorrow, but, uh, I have a fucking, I have a doctor's appointment at, like, 9 a.m., which is... Uh, a little early for me. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot early for me. So I probably am going to be a fucking zombie tomorrow. But we'll see. All right, we'll see. If not, then I'll be back on Friday at the usual time. So thanks for coming on by. I am going to send uh, the stream over to Brett. He may not be live yet, but when he is, uh, I'm going to be in D&D with him in about 40 minutes. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, I will see you all later. All right. Thanks for coming on by. Bye-bye, dude.